Respectables. I am Takahata101, and I'm joined by the one, the only, our guest star from last week, who's joining us again this week. I'm joined by Octopimp. Octo, where can I find you? Hi, I'm Octopimp everywhere. Um, just if you Google that, you can you can find me. Um, I stream a lot of different things. Uh, today I was streaming some model painting. So if you're into crafty things or retro games or whatever, check me out six days a week on there. Thanks for having me, by the way. Absolutely, yeah. dude. Joined by our DM extraordinaire, Monty Glue. Hello, hello. You can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter and twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Playing more Dark Souls. I got to the giant tree. Fuck oh. the giant tree. I don't like it. Yeah, he's uh, yeah. I, The tree, well, it glitched out at one point when I was fighting him. The actual boss fight glitched out. Snake, you were there for that, Connor. Yeah, yeah. You kept you kept hitting him in his crotch orbs, and he wasn't Got doing the, for the orbs. Now. And there was no music. That was the thing. There was no music. He never dropped me down to the second part. He got at half health. And I'm like, why is he not exploding yet? No, I just, if, yeah. if there's no music, I just imagine, oh. Oh, my orbs. Oh. <laughs> you still hear it because of the music, usually. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. The uh, worst part about that fight are all the little guys. That's that's what makes that fight so hard. I'm like, the boss itself, I'm like, if I just didn't have all these little enemies coming off screen and kicking my ass, I, I'd kick your ass, but I can't. So. Welcome yeah. to Dark Souls. Yeah. No. Gotta get good. Connor, mm-hmm. where can they find you? They can find me on Twitter at SenileSnake. And they can find me on Twitch at Distortion Devil. Oof. Oof. That's awesome. Yeah. Octopamp, where... Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Guys, you can Google, where can they find you? There's a long list. There's there's a long list of people. I I am blessed with so many fine friends. (laughs) <laughs> you can find me here at Gaijin Goomba no H because jokes. Uh, you can find me literally everywhere else at Gaijin Goomba with an H. I'm working on a big ass Genji video as we speak. Hell and it's fucking probably, yeah! Oh, I, I've got I've got custom animation coming in for some very talented people, and I am so stoked to have that thing done. Uh, probably Wednesday or Thursday, maybe Friday of next week actually. Um. Just got done streaming Katamari Damashi Reroll because it's on the Switch now. Hell yeah. Um, might be picking up Neo again just because we got about halfway through and stopped. Um, and since Fallout 76 pretty much just shit the bed in its entirety, I'm looking for new stuff to play, but we're finding stuff. That game was shipped with pre shit pants. Yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty much. But we we be we're we're uh, we're doing a lot of smash coming up, so it's gonna yeah. be fun. Yeah, tis the season. Uh, Bosco, Bosco, Bosco. Yeah, yeah, I'm right here. No, oh. what's what's up? Where can they find you? They could they could find me at Ed Bosco VA on both Twitter and Instagram. They could find me on Twitch.tv slash just my name Edward Bosco. You can watch me scream at fictional sports players to do better. And when they fumble the ball, scream "ball" at uh, very random opportunities. Um, I see. I can also announce that I had a, a part to play in Judgment. If you guys have watched the new trailer that dropped, I got to be a part of that game, and that was a lot of fun. Neato. Oh, cool. fuck yeah! There, there's my game of the week. <laughs> and uh, oh, also the Bears beat the Rams. So if you're from LA, suck it. Whoa! <laughs> but aren't wow. you from LA? Don't you have to Ooh. suck it? No, I'm from Chicago. I live in LA. There's a difference. I'm from St. Louis, where the Rams used to be, so I don't really care. <laughs> I was gonna say you should be happy. It was eh. their second loss on the season. I'm just throwing hey. that out there. You guys talk yeah. about video games and stuff. Go, go the Bears. Yeah, yeah. We like sports. We don't care. Who knows? Yeah. The tops are hedged. Yeah. <laughs> Kick the ball better. I'm hearing a lot of commitment to the art. Yeah. Zito. Oh hi. You can find me at twitch.tv slash Zito. Uh, did you guys know that Epic Games now has a lot of these really fucking weird and really cool indie games on it? Kind of yeah. makes me cringe that I gotta open that thing up, but I do <laughs> want to play a couple of those games. Now so. that's epic. <laughs> now Fuck. this is wow. epic. Wow. Look, listen, we, we can't we can't keep pushing Thanos culture, all right? We just can't. We just really can't. It, aren't they releasing Journey on PC through that? Yes, they are! I'm oh. upset, but also not. Okay, okay, so let me just go ahead and say this. Tomorrow, uh, after I have a little bit of uh, friend uh, friend fighties come over and play some Smash, uh, Dusk just got greenlit on Steam, which is a really cool uh, retro mm-hmm. Doom FPS, so I'm going to be playing the shit out of that. 
uh, follow that up with Friday with a bunch of those games that are sadly not on Steam but on Epic, like Hades, because that game looks fucking dope mm -hmm. as shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That one also. It'll good. it'll you'll you'll be able you'll be able to push through the pain, Zito. I promise. Block oh, I know. Oh, tr trust me. Uh, trust me. I know. I'm blocking out the pain so much. I just have to not look at for. There it is. It's right there, looking at me. Yo, you gotta. You gotta. You gotta block out the pain. Make they, your body they're, grow. They're gonna be yeah, on fucking. Block they're out gonna the pain. be in Smash. Listen, listen. I'm sorry, but John Wick is gonna be in Smash, and I'm just finally for it. Finally, that <laughs> well, he actually has a merged Smash with uh, Duck Hunt Dog, actually. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> His attack damage gets yeah. tripled if Doc Hunt's eliminated from the game. All right, guys. Yeah. I got I, I gotta I, if Isabel loses a stuff. <laughs> all right, I gotta get through all these amazing bits and subs being rained down from the community. Let's start from the beginning here. All right, guys, rap god about to start up here. <clears throat> Death Watch 2984. Thank you so much for the nine months of sub baby Sir Penwood Jr. Jr. Uh, Bravo Fox 122, thank you for the sub. Furious John 7, thank you so much for the eight month resub. PM Ghost, great seeing you, man. We gotta hang out soon. Tier 2, 19 month resub. Awesome. Solo 721, thank you so much, dude. Uh, Thord in 2017 with 500 bits. Question, what is the campaign book coming out? Oh boy, that's a hell of a question. Volvagnos with the 500 bits. Let's have a great time tonight. Hashtag charity. Everyone, if you're dropping bits, slap in hashtag charity because they are doing a charity drive here on Twitch, guys. So definitely send some money over that way as well. You're going to slap down any more bits, guys? Hashtag charity. 100, thank you so much, Volvagnos. Zev, your opponent with 100 bits. Thank you so much, Monty and the gang. And giving a last, last Christmas bits. I wanted to ask if you ever see a sweet Dragon Christmas special. I don't, I don't know. We have more of the same. No. Chaos Pneumatic with the 500 bits. Hey, Taka, first time donor, just want to ask you a thought about Canada being included in the next Civ 6 expansion. We're about to take over, guys. Finally. Wow. With our, the new kindness it. score, the, the new kindness score, and Tim Horton. Oh, we actually, okay. our currency is Tim Bits. Yeah, uh, I want to make a whole town there that's just filled with pennies, you know? Yeah, no, fuck yeah. Fucking, fucking right. You know, yeah. like if, like, imagine if you go to like a Timmy's and there's like 30 people there instead of 20. Like, Open another Timmy's, right? Oh, I firmly yeah. believe whenever they open a Timmy, a, t a, a Tim Hortons, another thousand people come into existence to just fill it up in the morning. All right, strong glad two two twenty for with one thousand one hundred and forty minutes. It's time to get revenge. It's time for revenge. <laughs> thank you so much, strong glad. Prodigious ninety five. Thank you for the six month resub. Marcus Zero. Thank you for the hundred bits. Aegis Say. Thank you for the prime sub. Bud the spud. Uh, Three two two six. Thank you for this eight month resub. Side character for the five hundred bits. Thanks for the laughs and inspiring me to start my own five E campaign that just finished its third arc. Uh, in a way I didn't plan. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> No, my, my dinner my dinner want is so delicious wants to come back and be eaten again. I'll run three two nine with two hundred bits. I have I have you guys to help me through the horrible night at work. Hashtag charity. Thank you so much. Polka King two three seven with eleven bits. Thank you so much. Worth boot on with a twelve month race. So one year down, fall semester down. Time for a vacation. <laughs> Killer be the 18. Thank you so much for the primes up worldwide. Will be with a 19 month race. when Bosco goes to see the Bears. Hashtag a jinx. Blackfoot ferret with the over nine thousand. <laughs> What? 9,000? It must be Blackfoot Ferret. 9,001 bits. It has begun. I say that for literally everything. That is true. That's technically a truthful thing. Harry, thank you so much for the 9,001 bits, Blackfoot Ferret. Holy shit. Harry, 1863. Thank you for the 100 bits. SF Cody, thank you for the 800 bits. Cheering. Born in LA. Cheering to Bears. Bits for my bro, Remy slash Bosco, so his good luck continues to staying alive. Bear ah! down. Remy screwed, but bear down. Bits. Let's go, baby. 800 bits from SF Cody. Ice booth with 100 bits. Woo! Got my new job as a freelance artist. Congrats. Zaniel Kuhn, thank you for the three-month resub. Ink Spin, thank you for the prime sub. The casual less, the casual less, thank you for the 500 bits, no message just missed. Hashtag charity. Draconis88, thank you so much for the 17-month resub. One Florida man, thank you for the four-month resub. Harry1863 for the four-month resub. A Mexican spy, thank you for the rehost. Avion fan with 100 bits, thank you so much. The Talbs, thank you so much. Shout out to Ezra with 100 bits. Love the new art money. Lost Snail, thank hashtag you. charity with 100 bits. The Casualist with 240, 255 bits. It will be the last time I can catch the stream live because I recently got my first job. I'll see you guys in the future archives. Hashtag charity. Thanks to the Casualist. Congrats on the job. Cheers of Mozart. 100 good. Hashtag charity. Caster Gaming with 400 bits. Hashtag charity bits. Because I have a hashtag charity bits. Hashtag charity. Charity 100 here. <laughs> JEC I'm going to grab. Yeah. I'm going to grab water. I'll be right back. Yeah, you give me some. JC Duels with three month reason. Hey, Taco Body. So you'll say everyone have a good time. Thank you so much. Harry, 1863 with 400 bits. Uh, nothing like some good old and special to get me through the animation project for Killage. Salute, headshot, salute with the 2,000 bits. I missed two weeks and you all got a party wipe. Hashtag charity. That's not true. Some of us, some of us surrendered. So thank you, salute, headshot, salute. Boo, Radley, with the 100 bits. Time to get let Remy out despite all his rage. He is still just a bird in a cage. Get him, boys. Hashtag charity. 
Briz on Ice with a 1600 bits. Happy to end my birthday watching this stream. Love you guys. Happy birthday to you, Briz on Ice. Oh yeah. Skull Shifter with a 14,000, 1400 bits. Holy crap. Thank you, Skull Shifter, for the 1400 bits. Rishard Lauren Artie. Rishard Lauren Artie. There we go. 1000 bits. DD has been a big part of my life. I love this show to bits. 1,000 bits to be exact. d has been a big part of my life, and the Untouchables <clears throat> has been there with me. My favorite character is trickster uh, cleric Al Kenku named Athene, who only communicates in blah Also, task is the definition of short people being angry all the time. 1,000 bits. Damn. That's some real I shit mean, right there. I mean, yeah. I Soulless. mean, to be fair, Zito, aren't you the definition of short people being angry all the time? I am 5'7", so yes, technically. There you go. Soulless. See, they're, ang they're angrier because they're closer to hell. So that's, that's the logic <laughs> I've been told. Ah! That's, what they told. that's what they told Ooh. me in the Bible school. That, that is wow. what a girl told me in art school. She's okay, like, we're, okay, we're... Monty, Monty. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. My, my, wife, my wife is 5'2 and 3 quarters. So oh! what, what, yeah. what does that mean? Yeah, that's... Well, that's... you know what it means. She already said it. No. Her, her <laughs> is in danger. No, you can't backtrack that. Poor, that, that poor girl. No, that poor girl is is recovering in bed right now after getting spinal injections, and you had to say that. How dare? Uh, okay. Well, you know, fine. <laughs> okay. You know, yeah, I, I, I have a, money. It's just better to say nothing at are all. Are you are you are you are you attempting to bully and shame my sister? My sister who goes <laughs> to the pain and anguish of making this amazing campaign for all the amazing people. You son yeah. of a this son of a bitch. No, Nadine. The guys are gonna I mean, fight. I, I, the guys I'm are gonna fight, and it's gonna be really pathetic. I, I'm so I'm so uh, glad that this uh, started on uh, this started with me and then ended with everyone else getting mad and I didn't do a goddamn thing. It's true. It's great. All right, here I'm we go. I'm not even mad. I'm just enjoying the bloodshed. Okay, here we go, guys. I gotta get through the last little bits here. All right, here we go. Uh, Solo seven two one with the five hundred bits. Thanks for making my week. Please tell Zeta the Cobalt has ma made me. Um, he made for me is doing great in my own D&D campaign. Hashtag charity. Thank you. Script day with a 500 bits. Thanks for getting Welcome. back to me in D&D. Started with my, my first multi-session campaign in about a decade last Thursday. Not being tired, not being tired just in time to watch. Thank you so much. Strong, glad, 2220 with a 420 bits. There's no joke here. Just lit. Awesome, lengthy with a four-month resub. Mein Schwarzen Schwarzenflauf. One, two, three, four bits. Good luck with the merry funny number. Hashtag charity. Work call three with a prime sub. Thank you for those eye snake eyes with a nine month resub. A moo man, thank you for the prime sub. War of Shadows with 200 bits. Thank you so much. Slept not lost it with 100 bits. Okay, guys. We all, I needed to take a moment real fast here before we start, guys. This is episode mm. 69, okay? It's just, oh, chat, God. chat, get out the of your, get number. out of your, get it out of your system right now. They wouldn't have done anything if you didn't. Oh, bring they it were up. already yeah. doing, and I saw them. Were they? Because I'm watching them Rallo's too. Rallo's Arcs. Thank you for the prime. Thank you for the prime sub. Just get out of your system. Yep. Get it up. Yep. There we go. Get it up. I got okay. it. Now okay. they're doing. Oh. I've got air yeah. horns blasting in my earphones right now. Um, there is something I would like to say before we start as well, if that's okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. I'm calling out. I'm calling out people watching the stream right now. If you are a student and you are supposed to be studying for finals or finishing papers right now, as a past student. You can watch the VOD later. We love you guys, but please, school comes first. Or it doesn't. Hey. Unless you're getting a garbage tier degree. I was like going to say, as, as a student myself, I did whatever I wanted. Fair as enough. Somebody, but as somebody with a time. garbage tier degree, I can say that. Don't worry. It <laughs> yeah, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, just as, get the paper. I don't even really need the degree because you're going to end up doing something else anyway. Listen, as yes. someone as someone with a garbage tier degree as well, I just fucking drank coffee all night and just didn't go to... I, when everyone else woke up, I went to sleep. As mm. somebody with a not garbage tier degree, I just handled my shit and did what I wanted to do. So do uh, that. How about you do that? As someone, with a, as someone without a degree, um, damn. Uh, well, either way, <laughs> it's just... important to yeah, study. Look, Cur Curtis it's made it. You can make it too. Well, it's important. The the point being, before we all went shit posty, it's important to study. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah Whoa! Sure. Yeah, I, yeah. Real fast. Stay in school. Don't do your drugs. La last minute bit call outs, if, if I can, real fast. Here they go. Shadow Tag Thirty Four with the fifteen hundred bits. Uh, talk on crew. I'm, I'm bring glad tidings for Praise Nerzul. He asked me to inform you guys that because you guys, he met his current girlfriend, who is now his fiance. That's amazing. What? Congrats. Yeah. 30 seconds. And 30 seconds. And Ice with 100 bits. Thank you so much. Thank you again, Shadow Take 34. And one of the last big bit drops here from Defective Sheet with the 7,500 bits. There. I got it out of the way. 
Hashtag charity. Also remember to add the hashtag charity people. Come on. Mark and Sarah, thank you for the 69 yeah. bits. Nice. Avion yeah. Man with 100 bits. Come on. Hayden Harlison, thank you for the two month resub. And again, Defective Chief, thank you for the 7,500 bits. Monty, take us away to a magical kingdom that's not this world. When last we left our heroes, Task the Cobalt Ranger, Panic the Tiefling Bard, Greckles the Kenku Rogue, Borky the Orc Barbarian, Remy the Kenku Fighter, and a newfound friend in Zenryo the Triton Sorcerer. The party rose from the ashes of a lost battle, took count on where they are at, and made their way back to the surface of the ocean. After getting shanked by dolphins and encroached in the nursery of a pregnant storm giant named Sinlas Cascadia, wanting to get them out of her house as soon as possible, the storm giant offered her coladas as transport and returned her baby's rattle, Panic's guitar, back to him. Now riding the current to Canary's perch, the party makes way. So as you guys are on the surface of the water you guys kind of bob and the night sky has kind of filled the air you can see the dawn slowly encroaching almost a deep blue and red sky you guys kind of bob and the coladas kind of stick their heads out and kind of like spitting out water and How yawning how how far are we from anywhere we could get on pseudo land? It's a speck in the distance. So we're above we are above water right now, right? Yeah, you guys are currently mm -hmm. like bobbing above the water. It's the first time you've you've tasted fresh air, um, as opposed to magically altered seawater. What's wrong with magically altered seawater? Doesn't taste so good. Fish pee in it. I'm used to it. Yeah, Zenrio. No, no I do. Is... Zenrio pees in it. Twenty four seven. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Do you not? Eh. <laughs> Does the air taste different suddenly? Sanrio. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Uh, so where are we going exactly, though, lads? Uh, Borky's just kind of doing those eye goggles. Uh, well, if I were to guess, we'd probably want to go to Canary's Perch, which is that, like, you know, island made up of all the ships and stuff. So uh, what kind of folks? The ships or the island? Well, I guess, you know, I guess, because do you consider the island an idea? Because, oh. you know... It, guys, it, guys, 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 we're, we're getting away from the, 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 the problem here. Z, you, you know these parts better than any of us. Do, can you get us to Canary's Perch? Well, I've, you know, I've, I've, I've never really, you know, uh, been there before. Um, I I've heard of it, but, you know, <laughs> I'm what, not, like, an, an expert. <laughs> what, what have you heard about it, though? Well, um, it's, you know, uh, a group of ships that turned into an island, and a bunch of bros got together and were like, hey, what if we made this, like, a city? And then they did. And the the, the guy who's kind of in charge is, uh, uh, Barris. Um, but he's, there's, people talk about him a lot. What's his name again? Oh, uh, Barris. Barris. Barras. Barras. Oh. 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 Yeah. Bar yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, he's another Triton bro, but uh, people talk about him. He's kind of uh, not a good dude. You is... think he might be behind a lot of the robberies and murders that uh, the giant was talking about? Shh, shh, don't say it out loud. You never know who's listening. Yeah, our task is right over there. You never know. Um, don't ever say that in the, in the city because um, you might you know disappear. Right. So definitely behind them. Then. Well, I yeah, I didn't I did not say that. I I can neither confirm nor deny that that's true. Okay. Well, guys, we're getting nowhere slowly. Uh, Z, can you I don't know ask for directions or something? Yeah. Um. Hey. Uh. Hey. Uh. Uh. Wait, do we know these things' names? You don't know the Colada's names. You don't even know okay. if they have names. I'm going to name you Jerry, and I'm going to name you Kyle. Okay, Jerry, uh, can you take us to uh, Canary's Perch? Who's writing Jerry and who's writing Kyle? At the I have no idea. I'm writing Jerry, and the other one is Kyle. Okay. I guess I'm, I'm driving Kyle, then. Yes, you You're are. driving Kyle? Okay. Who's on? Uh, who's also on Jerry and Kyle? I can't uh, that, remember. Uh, last Jerry time. is uh, it, it's it's uh, Zenrio and Borky. Zito, yeah, yeah, yeah. Z and Zito, excuse me. Task, task, task is with myself. And panic as well. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. We tried to balance the weight with best we could. Mm hmm. Okay. I would like, uh, yeah, I'd actually like Borky. I'd like you to roll a perception check for me. Ooh, boy. Ah, excellent. One of those stats. Uh, and here I go. First roll of the game, and that is a natural oh. 20, baby. What the? F wow. <laughs> okay, then. Alrighty. Holy Jesus. Um, as as Zenrio is talking to the Kalada, the Kalada kind of has these beady eyes. Like, doesn't really have eyelids. It just kind of has this thing that washes over its eyes like a lizard almost. Uh, it kind of starts to make this screaming noise. Like, just starts screaming really loud. And the rest of you are like, huh, that's kind of funny. Borky, you immediately see blood in the water, and you watch as both you and Zenrio are yanked back beneath the water oh, immediately. You guys psh, are hit in the water, and the rest of you at the surface just see your friends just disappear as they're being pulled back into the waves. Well, they're dead. <sighs> Thanks, Task. <laughs> I, guys, guys, I, cool. I guess, I guess hold, I guess, guys, just hold your breath. I wait for everyone to take a big old deep breath, and we're going in after them. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Dive in. You guys hold in. As you do, you see a harpoon inching deep inside the rib cage and hooked on the rib cage of uh, both Borky and Zenra. Jerry. Jerry's getting dragged down. Jerry with an E, by the way. Um, yeah. Is being dragged mm -hmm. down. You see a group in the depths of the water, Borky. I'll give that to you with your natural 20 perception. Um, you see a group of four uh, fish people, look like Triton, uh, currently reeling in you with a massive harpoon. Reeling in Borky. Bor the Kalata you guys are riding currently. They're reeling it in. So uh, Borky and Zenry are still on the Kalata. Yeah, you guys are still holding on to it. It is currently like being pulled uh, down with you. Uh, can, can Borky, because uh, we haven't rolled initiative yet, can Borky start climbing down the rope that they're pulling him towards? Sure, absolutely. And uh, I will say at this point, uh, we'll roll, roll initiative. God damn it. <laughs> this is gonna be this is gonna be theater of the mind, by the way, because this is gonna be a All very right. heavy movement based thing. I'll go with my high roll of eleven. Seventeen. Seventeen. I got a ten. Okay. Oof. Uh, Oof boys. Seventeen and Borky. And then we have uh, Greckles. Actually, you're gonna go before Borky because you have the higher deck. Uh, important question. Yes. Do fire-based spells work underwater? Because I will never nope. clarify. No. Okay. It, they do not. Didn't know if that uh, was that heat well, thing. Magic as wand. Well as uh, bows and arrows don't work underwater either. I don't got those though. You told me the one breaks as soon as I used it. Yeah. To so. be fair, you made it out of sinew and bone. Listen, man, I wanted that fucking okay. crown back. So. Here. The fish people look up towards you and immediately start making this guttural deep uh, voice, which you would know as Aquan Zenrio. Mm -hmm. um, they're, they basically are pointing you guys out and so uh, basically saying bodies to raid, essentially. These are very much bandits. They're totally like vulturing around the edge of Canary's Perch. Uh, they're bandits! Uh, oh, great. Tell them we we're we're all poor. We've already been robbed. <laughs> I don't uh, have anything. Okay, they have spears. They've got spears. Oh, oh actually, you know what they're gonna do? They're gonna whistle uh, underwater, and you're gonna watch as a bunch of dolphins appear. No! Damn it. Oh, God. They are all gonna take their action to mount dolphins that have knives as well. Ah! Fuckers again. Oh, and immediately they're going to beeline it. Uh, to surround the rest of you guys. It is now a chase sequence. Um, that will end their turn, and that leads us to uh, Task. You are up next. Uh, which one's close to me? Uh, right now, there is a pufferfish. Oh, wait, no, sorry, parrotfish. There's a parrotfish triton currently who uh, sweeps around, who has a net, uh, and he's kind of eyeballing you guys up at the moment. As he swings past, you get a chance to strike with your uh, yep. twice with your, your triton there. Excellent. Let's go for it. Fuck this dude. Okay. <sighs> Ten. Not you go to swing, and by when you swing it, your item is still bubbles. It's still forming in your hand. You're like, shit. You get another attack, though, as it forms. 
Oh my god, 12. That hits. That actually hits. What? Oh fuck. Yeah, these guys aren't decked out in armor or anything. These guys are built for speed. Nine. Nine. Very nice. You strike him as he goes to kind of like measure out where to throw the net. You just reach out your arm like without even making eye contact and you hear a slicing motion as he just runs past your blade and you just see him clutching his chest on his side. It's nine points. Of yeah, I'm stopped. I, the, my main focus was to stop that net. Alrighty, that brings us to uh, Greckles. You are piloting the Kalata. Oh, God. So, how would it work if I were to take any actions? Or do I have to constantly be piloting it? I will say bonus action to pilot it. Okay. That be, in, yeah. that, in that case, while we're being chased, um, Greckles is going to clasp his talents together, whisper Genshutsu, and cast ooh, ooh, Silent Image. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, what is this? Okay, 15. Uh, I'm going to summon the visage of a 15 foot great white shark. Okay. Uh, to come from, I guess, the left side of us charging towards these bandit tritons. All right. Good to know. That will take your action as the shark comes into play. They all kind of turn heads and see it. Okay. Um,. Whenever I can get it to move, I'll just be having it moving as if it's going to attack them. And otherwise, I will just be steering this beast. Okay, you are. It's kind of panicking a little bit, and it looks fucking angry. Yeah. Uh, it is now the Kalata's turn. Uh, so the one Kalata that's currently being harpooned and is swimming is going to attempt to break the, the hold it has. Uh, and it succeeds. Uh, you watch Borky as your guys' Kalata kind of flops around like a fish. It leers its head over, grabs the rope, and you and Zenry are kind of like, sort of like holding on for dear life like a rodeo. It reaches over, you hear this crunching noise as it rips the harpoon from its body. You see a spray of blood uh, erupt out. Uh, what, what, was, was I not holding on to the rope, the, the technically on to the harpoon? Yeah, you are. Oh you're no. You're currently holding on to ah! it. And Borky's just going. <laughs> Yeah, you're getting reeled in uh, by one of the dolphins. You are currently trailing behind the swimming dolphin with a knife. Um, and the other Kalata is going to attempt to attack one of the dolphins. Go, boy, go! Oh, yeah, Kyle is not having any of the shit today. <laughs> yeah. Atta boy, uh, Kyle! Get, you get him, Kyle! <laughs> Kyle might fuck him up, actually. It's pretty hard. Yeah, that's a dead fucking dolphin. You watch as um, the inner mouth like, because they have two sets of jaws. The inner jaw set just shoots out like a bullet, grabs the dolphin and sucks the dolphin's body into the second set of jaws, which then clamps down and just takes a solid chunk out of the side of the dolphin. And also the leg of a salmon triton who was riding it. Damn, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> Cow. And it just kind of shakes and chews on it. That will bring us to you, Borky. You are currently being uh, dragged around in the water. How, how fucked around? How how far is it up that rope? Up the rope that I'm currently being. Uh, maybe about five feet. At this point. Wow, really? I'm really even. Yeah. Bor Can I climb on top of the dolphin and just grab? Pretty much climb on the dolphin's back and just grab the guy. Sure. Yeah. Do you want to like grapple him or do you want to like hit him? Oh, Borky's gonna grapple him. Non like, but non lethally Borky wants a. Uh, Borky wants. Borky has questions. Okay. He's a tuna. He's a tuna triton. <gasps> Delicious. He's um, beautiful. Mm. <laughs> uh, I would like you to roll a strength check for me. Or uh, athletics, sorry. Counter athletics. Athletics? Uh, yeah, athletics. That is 11. That's two for him. So actually, no, it's a three with his modifier. So yeah, you grab him. You like get him in a headlock. Uh, but bubbles erupt out of your mouth as you are doing so. Uh, keep in mind, you cannot breathe underwater right now. That is. Uh, that... Actually, no, you, no, you can. Actually, no, you can because the bubble's close enough to you at this point. Okay. So you're good. So you have him grappled. You have him right now, like in the crook of your arm, and he's like, just kind of like scratching at you with his webbed claws. I, I can I kind of kicking? Can he hear me at all? If I can technically breathe, can he? Can I actually speak? To... <laughs> no, you don't speak Aquan, and also all that would come out of your mouth is. Well, what a precarious. But if I was Aquan. Borky then just goes more off. Stop! Does that end your turn there, Borky? <laughs> Pretty much, it sounds like. All right. <laughs> so that leads us to panic. It is now your turn. All right. 
Uh, about how many are chasing us currently? Four. Uh, well, right. three, because one of the dolphins died. So there's a, another triton currently swimming around with an eruption of blood, and he's now looking panicked towards this shark that's now encroaching him. Oh, he's gonna... They're all gonna look even more panicked. After okay. they get panicked. Uh, I'm gonna try and catch as many of them as I can in this. It's a 30-foot cone. Okay. I'm going to look at them. That, that fire in my eyes comes back. The angry pupil slits. And I... I say, smile, and I am going to cast fear. Okay. What's the save on that? Uh, what? DC 16, uh, wisdom save. Wisdom? Oh, whoa, okay. I thought they had a minus. That is going to be a fail for the salmon. That is definitely a fail for the parrotfish. Fail for the big. Oh, I don't like this dice. Fail for the tuna. No, 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 you keep using and it. And fail for, they all fail. All of them fail. All right, all of them are frightened and must use the dash action to move away from me. Okay. Porky's going for a ride. Oh wait, the dolphins. I have to see if the dolphins are brave too. No. Natural 20, this one's fine. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I got you. Let's write boys. That's, Where'd everybody and go? That, and, then a nat and then a natural one. <laughs> There's one dolphin. That's we got okay. this. Where'd everyone go? <laughs> Alrighty. The dude with the coral they pop all over. they all get this wide-eyed look as uh, as you you just kind of glow this demonic glow in the depths of the water. Uh, does that end your turn there, Panic? Um, can I see Forky at the moment? Kind of, but he's he's kind of like half visible. If you were to aim an attack, I would say it would 100% be with disadvantage. But if you uh, want to do something like um, uh, Bardic Inspiration, that'd be fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm checking to see if there's a range on it at the moment. I don't think so. And then I'll just get I'll, I'll 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 just play like a metal rendition of uh, of Under the Sea or something to give him Bardic Inspiration. Sure. Your music sounds awful under the water, by the way. Like, absolutely horrendous. It barely makes sound at all. <laughs> well, he's still inspired by it. Yay! Damn it. Uh, <laughs> as, as, you, as you do so as well, all those little fish that were in the tuba now retreat inside of your guitar. Hey, get, get, the, get out of there! <laughs> nope, they live there now. They live there Circle. now. Zenrio, it is now your turn. Uh, currently, Jerry is bleeding really badly, but is really angry. It's kind of kicking a bit like a bronco and like kind of looking at all the different threats around it, including the shark, mm -hmm. uh, because they are not very intelligent and don't realize it's an mm -hmm. illusion. Um, so I, am I still on Jerry? Yes, you're still okay. on Jerry. You're currently okay. holding the reins. And he's he's not he's not having a good time. Okay. No. Uh, so. The there's three tritons that are frightened and one that 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 Borky is is grappling right now. Yeah, all of them are frightened, even the one that's grappled at the moment. Oh, okay, okay. Um. Oh gosh. Uh, what can I what can I even do here? Uh. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna hit one of them that's running away, with okay. Ray of Frost. Ray of Frost, all right. Yes. Okay. There's a there's the parrot and there's two tuna. Who do you want to go for? Um. Let's see. Uh. Let's hit one of the. T let's hit the parrotfish. The parrotfish. Okay. okay. So how do I do this? Wait. They've already taken a bit of a blow from from Task. Okay. Um. Can I? Do I just click on the Ray of Frost? Just click on it. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Ooh, uh Oops. Oh. That wasn't it. I, never mind. Why did it do that? I, <laughs> I wanted to me... cast a spell. Let me go into your sheet here and just it make sure that's should, not broken. It should be under like your weapons or attacks. Attack oh, no. each cast. Oh, like, okay. Um. It is not, so mm. I'm just gonna click it for you. Okay. And that's super weird. Hold on a minute. This is really odd. I'm sorry. There might have been an update. Complication. Give me a second. Well, I wanted to make a pun where I said chill out, and then it just. I well, 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 okay, click. Oh, I clicked it for you. I'm sorry. Okay. Try the one at the bottom. Okay. 
The uh, one at the, at the bottom. The one at this one. Just click, just click, Got just it. click, yeah. There you go. That hits. Okay. 100% that hits. Oh, yeah. Jesus. As, as the parrotfish kind of like is swimming off with the dolphin, you hit him in the back and immediately his like form freezes. And like the dolphin keeps going and his top half snaps from his bottom half. Hey. <laughs> Chill out. <laughs> Brutal. Hey. Oh, I didn't mean for that to happen. <laughs> ah, well, you did, you did your job. Good good work. Thank goodness. I, I give sort a, of a, uh, like a, like a half hearted, like, oh, thumbs up. <laughs> uh, roll a handle animal for me as well, Zenrio. Okay. Oh, I don't have anything in there. Eleven. Okay. You you kind of give you give Jerry a pat, but Jerry's just like, like kind of growling under the water. It's very angry mm -hmm. at the moment. Uh, that will bring us back to the lads, uh, and they are the tuna. Both of the tuna are going to flee. Uh, in fleeing, Greckles, you get an attack of opportunity on the first tuna as he swims past you. Uh, and as your shark follows them, they are like trying to figure out a way to get away from with the shark. Uh, so you can get an attack of opportunity there. Yeah, that's a 17. That totally hits. You don't get sneak attack on this, unfortunately. Right. So that is nine damage. Not bad. Yeah, you slice this guy on the side as he's running away, uh, but he manages to sneak away and disappear into the obscured depths of the ocean. He is now out of combat. He has left. The other tuna is going to also swim away, but he is not within anybody's attacks of opportunity. Uh, so he is going to also disappear, and he is now out of combat. I, aren't, I, salmon. I, aren't I grappling Who, him? Are, you're grappling the salmon guy. Oh, I thought I was grappling the tuna guy. No, you're grappling the salmon guy. Oh, okay. He's, he's putting up a fight, so he's going to try and break out of this. Is it, by the way, is it smoked tuna, or is it like regular tuna? Or like, like, regular oh, tuna. Okay. Uh, he got a 20. Uh, I need you to roll a athletics check for me. Trying to sl squirm out of my arms. Too bad it's 15. He got out. He breaks free and he immediately uh, moves to the edge of combat. So he's still running. He's getting away. Did he kick? Did uh, he... But he's still within. He's still within vision. He kicked me off his uh, dolphin. No, you're still on your dolphin. In fact, you're still you're riding the dolphin currently. <laughs> uh, oh no! <laughs> unfortunately, the dolphin is scared also. Uh, so the dolphin is going to go away from panic. So you actually begin to swim on his dolphin alongside him. He's just a few, a couple feet ahead of you. Um, so that's the dolphin. Hmm. Uh, the other dolphin is going to just swim away. So that's out of combat now. Um, and then the dolphin that is not afraid, uh, is going to attempt to shank, uh, panic actually. We're still underwater, right? Yeah. And it totally missed. Uh, the dolphin kind of goes up to you, Panic. You kind of, like, move your head to the side and, like, swims past you. Uh, that will end their turn. It is currently right next to you and, and Greckles at the moment. So, Greckle, uh, Task, it is now your turn as you are oh. underwater. I can now shank this motherfucker, so here we go. Yeah, uh, oh, yeah totally hits. Six. Six? Nice. 22. That also hits, yep. Yeah. Nine. What? There it is, nine. Oof. You, as a dolphin swings past, you also swing your blade twice, like with quick succession. And as a dolphin passes by, it just gets sliced into pieces and drifts down to the bottom oh, of this. Oh, I just fucking Samurai kirby this bastard. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right back at ya. Dead ass dolphin. Uh, Greckles, it is now your turn. You have your the reins in your hand at the moment. What as you see, As you see Borky getting kidnapped by a dolphin. Uh, okay, so what else is around? Because that other dolphin just got diced. Is there anything left? There is the dolphin that Borky is on and the salmon triton who is swimming away. Those are the two things you can see. And your, and your, and your shark, which is kind of pursuing them. Yeah, I was about to say, I'll slowly. have the, I'll, I'll have the, uh, I'll have the 15 foot shark, uh, slowly try to catch up to the salmon that's still trying to run away. Yeah, you do. Okay. You see, does Borky, after him. Does Borky see this shark? Yeah, Porky, you see the shark. Faster, faster! Okay. Porky starts slapping the dolphin, telling him to go faster, because Porky doesn't know that's an illusion. I mean, you could try. It's no. spell safety DC only 13. No. It's funnier this way. Come on. Okay. It is much funnier. Ah, 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 ah. Faster, 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 faster! Try. Let's go faster! I'm gonna Let's go faster! I'm gonna, uh. try, I'm gonna try and turn the reins around and see if I can go pick up Borky since there aren't any threats in the area. Objects. Okay, you easily catch up with the Kalata, and you're now swimming next to him at the moment. Borky, get on, you idiot! No, there's a, there's a shark chasing us! That's mine, you idiot! 
roll <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna make an attempt to grab him. What do I have to roll? Uh, if he's willing, you don't have to roll anything. Borky, are you willing? <laughs> sure. Do I get your consent? Yeah, you grab, you grab Borky, and you, because you're you underwater, there's I was no weight to I was, him. I was planning on doing you... something. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna put the dolphin in a chokehold. <laughs> we'll interrogate the dolphin. You'll get your as chance. You, as you slowly uh, drown? Yeah. Yeah, maybe not. Uh, you're grabbed and you are put on the back of the colada who lunges out at the at the at the dolphin at the moment. Uh, do you guys want to pursue or do you want to let them to let them flee? Go after that salmon guy. I wanted to I wanted to question him. Okay. No. Off the... right. We don't want no, we don't want them to go back and get more dudes. Let's fucking end them. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. You have one last round in order to do this. So if not they'll get out of combat and you guys cannot pursue. They'll be impossible to find. So, Greckles, uh, is there anything else that takes your action to get Borky back on the Colada? Uh, you I, used your movement to catch up. Right, I don't think there's anything left. There's nothing else yet that you can do. Uh, Borky, it is now your turn, as okay, you are now on the back of the Colada. How far away is that salmon? Probably about 20 feet. Can I assume to catch up with him if I use all my strength? Uh, yes. So actually, with no, actually, you can't because you're in the current. Oh, no. Um, so it would be half movement, so you could, you have, actually, yeah, you catch up because you have 40 feet movement as a barbarian, so that'd be cut in half 20. Yeah, you can do that. I, 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 I pretty much put, grab Greckles by the shoulders and I, I, like, push off of him so I can leap at the salmon to grab him by the feet. Okay. Yeah. Roll another grapple check. So an okay. athletics check. Persistent lad. 25. That's, that's a seven for him. You grab him. You just, you grab him by the legs and you like pin him kind of down and he starts kicking and screaming uh, underwater as you have managed to capture the salmon dude. Can I knock him out? Uh, I, he's pretty conscious at the moment. Uh, I will say yes, between the collective, you guys all just beat on him relentlessly. <laughs> and... Just beat him! Punching him. Step on yeah. Him. And he is knocked unconscious as you guys bob Denrio, to the surface. Yes. Denrio Yakuza. doesn't actually participate in the beatdown, but he's just kind of like, yeah, uh, yeah, in the back there. Like, even, the, yeah. even, the, even the Kalata just, like, just puts his foot and paw down. I'm like, Man, fuck you. <laughs> Someone should probably heal that one, by the way. Otherwise, yeah. we're going to have a very angry uh, pregnant woman after I, I will heal him. Hold on. Uh, cure wounds. Where are you, my dude? There it is. Kabooski. And eleven. Okay, yeah, you you touch the claw, it heals over. There's an obvious scar, but at least it's not bleeding out and looks terrible. Um, in its current state, she might be like irked, but she's not gonna come after you. She'll be I... like, you know. What are you gonna do? Fire down there? Well, you know, like they're, they're like you know colossal squids, giant sharks, all kinds of other shit in the sea. She's gonna get mad at us, sure, whatever. We, we, I, we, by the way, we, I, li we literally we literally did the all-out attack from Persona Five on him. Essentially, we really did. Uh, that's really <laughs> important. Yakuza that we... beat down. Ooh, can that's I, also good. Can I communicate with which? Uh, it was Jerry that got injured, right? Yeah, Jerry got hurt pretty bad, but Jerry's can doing I, pretty good at the moment. Okay, can I can I communicate with him about the scar? Be like, it's okay. Chicks dig scars. <laughs> yeah, 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 you feel me. You feel me. All right, he feels me. It's true. Yeah, yeah. See, I speak <laughs> Aquan now. <laughs> You're, uh, how are you guys? Oh wait, you have rope, Zenrio. You guys kept the rope. I'm assuming you guys tie up the salmon dude. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. He uh, blinks awake as you guys are kind of bobbing on the water. Hey, buddy. Uh, and he kind of looks up and. Uh... <laughs> It's going to be difficult. Zenrio, can you translate? Uh, yeah, I think he said, help, help, I think. Oh, yeah, help's, it is. He's help's not coming. I help's a, not coming. I, I put a dagger right to his throat. Well, tell him not to, to keep his voice down while we're talking. Yeah, um, my dude, you might want to, like, you know, be quiet a little bit just because these guys will kill you. Bro, Let's I'm pick, it. bro, bro, I'm picking up on that vibe, dude. Bro, all right, listen, I'm telling you that Samantha. these guys, Jesus, they so are cool. loose cannons, okay? Don't yeah, get on no the bad kidding, side. Bro. Surface dwellers are some next level stuff. Yeah, seriously, I mean, what you're telling me, I mean, after I met these guys, I thought they were like pretty, well, uh, yeah, I mean, 
they can be a little unchill, but they're cool, okay? Just cooperate and Can you, like, that. tell the bro who's got, like, the knife at my neck to, like, not do that? I'd be willing to talk to you, man. Like, I'm just an intern. So, you know, like, that all just went real bad. Listen, this dude's just kind of being taken advantage of for his labor. So, can you... Let's just chill. Everybody take a step back, okay? Put well, the dagger just... away. Okay. I was just, dude, bro, bro, yeah. bro. Okay. I was, right. I was just hired to like get sea creatures for the lady of Canary's Perch. I didn't hear about no bandits. Like I got hired in because I knew how to like, you know, was real good with animals and stuff and like fishing and shit. Uh -huh. And they, they were like, hey, bro, like we'll pay you a bunch of gold if you help us catch these giant fish, which is <laughs> what you guys are riding, which are pretty nice. Like these are some pretty prime coladas. Uh, but, yeah, no, I agree. The only like, problem is that these coladas belong to uh, Simless Cascadia. I'm um, maybe oh. you've heard of her. Shit, bro. I, yeah, I totally know her. Those guys, yeah. like, you half murdered. I mean, he's like, he watches the, the corpse of the parrotfish one. It's kind of bobbing like an ice cube on the surface of the water. Like, these guys, like, work for her sister. But, like, <sighs> the sisters, like, don't like each other. Because I guess they were fighting over some guy or something. Like, I don't know. So, oh, like. Oh, Stormbeard. Oh, whoa. He's a player. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> Task like, holding the knife, looking back and forth, just hearing blow, 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 blow. I'm just like, what, what is going? What? Yeah, oh. I'm, I'm really lost at the moment. <laughs> All right, so what I'm understanding, like... what I'm understanding is, is he pulls. That's what I'm getting so far. Look, I'm just like a fisherman, dude, and I got like wrapped into the wrong crouch, which unfortunately pretty easy to do when you're in Canary's Perch. So like, no. if you need any advice or something, I know a guy. I don't want to go to Canary's Perch right now because huh, I don't want to see my bros again. I'm thinking I'm going to go down to Canary's Deep and go back to the oyster farms. Man, this ain't working out. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, if you're in the if you're in the market for like, you know, uh, anything magical, stop by my old man's shop. We've got lots of dope stuff that you can pick up and uh, oh, tell shit. them I sent you. OK, tell them Zenria sent you. OK, oh, shop, bro. I'll, no. I'll, here, I'll trade you for that one. If you're in Canary's Perch, find a guy called the Quiet Man. The Quiet Man, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, Quiet He man. talks, brah, brah. He talks, but he don't tell. Well, like, how can I hear him then? <laughs> <laughs> I want to believe that he hasn't been translating this all. just been hearing... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, Taz, yeah. And, and Taz still has the fucking knife to this dude's throat. Yeah, I'm just no, waiting on right. Zenru to tell me in common or in Draconic, like, are we cool? It's oh, here. I'll, I'll say. I'll say in common. Yeah. Okay. This guy's pretty chill. Okay. okay. He explained to me. Uh, let me. Let me finish up. I'll. I'll check. I'll circle around back with you guys in just a minute. Okay. <sighs> Taz puts the knife away. I'm never and going then, to get to interrogate someone, are we? And then I'm gonna. Um. I'm gonna come back to. Uh, oh, wait. What's your name, dude? Oh, me. Yeah. You. Yeah. He has actually has a name. Let me look up his name real fast. <laughs> I closed my book, the combat book. They all have names. Wait, what's his? Oh, uh, it's Sam. His name's Francis. Hey, Francis! Yo! Bro. All right, Francis. Yo, let me ask you. Do you know a guy named Barris? Oh, dude, bro. Barris? You mean the leader of the Tritons of Canary's Perch? Yeah, that guy! Oh, yeah, he's an asshole, dude. Oh, yeah, he kind of sounded like a tool. Like, if Triton hang out with, like, any surface dwellers, you're, like, on his shit list. Hey, what? Lame. Not right? But, like, the lady Cascadia, like, likes it when the surface dwellers and, like, the fish people, like, get along. But Barris is like, fuck that shit. He's, like, he fucking hates it. Hey, well, what a he's a bit, he, he's a total narc, dude. Like, he's oh, a total, like... Bummer. Way oh. bummer, dude. Hey, Can I go God. home? Hey, yeah, um, wait a minute. I'll, I'll turn in common. Hey, this guy's cool. Can we let him go? If he can tell us how to get to Canary's Perch. Oh, uh, just, yeah. just, just take the current down, but just, like, be vigilant. Stay at the surface, man. Like, don't, it, like, don't go down. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Okay, well, um, yeah, first of all, give me some fun. I'll put out my hand for like a He's like so tied up and he like kind of like, <laughs> like kind of leans yeah. over. Like I'll kind of like put my hand down close so he can kind of like ding, just sort of like tap it. Slaps, and I'm like, he slaps yeah. it a little bit. Yeah. Okay. You're cool. Yeah. We'll let you go. Um, Thanks for all the info and um, make sure you don't go stabbing any mysterious big fish that don't belong to you. Yeah. I'll try next time. And like, okay. 
dude, thanks, bro. Like, yeah. totally thanks. Uh, no problem, man. Thank you. No, really? Thank you. Uh, oh, shut up, dude. Bo Bor shut up. Borky, Borky asks, are, are you two done now? <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. So, Borky, Here's Borky yeets him into the ocean. Just... <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> boy, Francis. He's tied up, you guys. No, no he said he untied him. Did you oh, untie no. him? No, I didn't. No. I didn't untie him. Yeah, he can breathe on the wall. He can breathe on the wall. I'm sure we'll um, be fine. Should we help him? Okay. Anyway, well, bye, Francis. Um, so <laughs> I, I turn back, uh, and in common, uh, no longer in Aqua, and I say, okay. So Francis, first of all, really cool guy. I'm glad we got to know him. Mm -hmm. Um, second of all, uh, Canary's Perch. We just take the current, and it should lead us straight there. But we should stay near the surface, cause otherwise, you never know. We could get attacked by bandits again. Um, second of all, uh. Uh, we should seek out somebody named the Quiet Man, but I don't know how we're gonna hear him because apparently he talks. But I forgot the second part. But anyway, so um, we gotta find the Quiet Man, and also Barris, huge tool, like Mondo tool. So you did we gotta watch that. out. Yeah, he um apparently uh doesn't like it when surface dwellers and uh the Tritons hang out. Um, which is totally lame, right? Because I'm having fun with you guys, right? He kind of like looks around at everybody, right? Yeah. It has been quite yeah. adventure so far. Right? Yeah. So, yeah. Basically, so far, you like the second fish when I've met, so you're in the top half of that, definitely. Oh, nice. Oh, killer. Okay, so we just got to take the current to Canary's Perch, and then we got to find the quiet man. Oh, and also, apparently, um, Sin uh, Sinless, you know, the bedacious babe who's underwater? She has a sister. Oh, that's and nice. And they hate each other. Oh. And they hate each other. Mm. Yeah. And um, store. Uh, well, they. He said they were fighting over some guy. Oh, <laughs> I'll give you one guess who it was. Stormbeard. Oh boy. Oh, boy. oh yeah, that makes me more sense than my guess. <laughs> oh duh. Who? Yeah, it was probably Stormbeard. Who'd you think yeah. it was? I thought it was me. I, mean, I thought she was kind of into me, you know. Moving along. She right, so anyway, yeah. Um, anyway, so they hate each other. And apparently, the sister has been recruiting people to get big fish. So, whoa, the plot thickens, right? Hmm. 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 So you're saying we've got a love triangle. Well, yeah, wait, is that the one with three sides? Yeah, yeah. a love triangle. Yeah, yeah. Three is less than four, but more than two, right? Do we have How a physical... do you know that? <laughs> yeah, how do you know that? I got ten fingies. How do you know what ten is? <laughs> it's all I got, man. <laughs> <laughs> to be Look, fair, task, isn't... give him that much. Okay, fine. To be fair, isn't Stormbeard like leagues away from here? Oh uh, yeah, didn't she say that he was out? Uh, I think oh. he's been out. Yeah, he was at some kind of like, like. Uh, Prune Carver's contest. Or what something. if that was a prune. that might be a line he might be with his other family? Oh, <gasps> oh, oh stop. Real, like puts like puts both hands over his mouth. <laughs> Greckles, oh, Greckles face talons and tries to get <laughs> tries to get the creatures rolling. So All right, you guys, them. you guys get going. You ride the current uh, eastward towards. Uh, Canary's perch, the sun now rising in a beautiful, breathtaking blue sky. And as that same sun rises, we jump over to Remy as the sun rises at the United Clergy Camp. Joy. Mm -hmm. how, how how long has he been tied up? Uh, the entire night. You are freezing right. cold uh, right uh, now. Uh, hour wise is what I more mean. Uh, probably about a like solid, ballpark uh, you've been tied up probably 16? for like a solid, yeah, 12 hours. I'd say 12 okay, hours. Okay, 12 is good. Okay, yeah. cool. And Ooh. any food or water? Nope, they are not giving you food or water. Cool. Um, you, so. You currently, ha you do have a point of exhaustion at this point, yeah. Uh, I think I can do this. Can he use prestidigitation to kind of give himself water since his hands are free? Uh, that spell does not let you make something like that there's ah, crate, darn it. destroy food and water or there's crate food and water um okay. which is a spell unfortunately sorry i don't know if he can make like ice and have it melt in his beak you could you could fart the taste of a sandwich in your mouth though <laughs> that's <laughs> gross but it would work yeah so um all right well then he's just gonna be up there and 
He's gonna die soon if he hasn't had water for 12 hours. Um, as you are kind of standing there, there's business around, and what you see is both alarming but makes sense. So the orcs are working for the United Clergy of Orin. There seems to be some sort of mutual agreement here, but there's not a lot of orcs you're noticing. Okay. There's like maybe 10. Um, and most of them don't appear to have it. Like there's a clear leader, uh, this one large, uh, big tusk orc male. Um, no females. You haven't heard his name. Oh, he hasn't heard uh, you guy. just you just know from the way he's bossing around the other orcs, he's probably the one that's in charge. Okay. Um, and you see him being just basically like treated like a dog by the leader of the uh, of the 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 current encampment, the the sort of like spearhead of everything that's going on. The other thing you realize is they have two ships. They have the one that they attacked you guys on, and they have a second one, almost identical, uh, and they seem to rotate them out. Um, so as your guys' ship came in, um, it was loaded up and sent out, and as it was sent out, another one came in. So it seems to be cycled out. Um, so there's always half the amount of people that they actually have on hand at the camp at all times. Uh, they are currently... Yeah, for sure. All right, good. They are currently building and fortifying this area. Um, you see what was probably once simple orc um, barricades, you know, spikes, you know, spiked wood uh, is being refined into actual physical walls uh, made with mud and very thick logs. There's definitely a sense of making a base camp here uh, with actual fortifications, amongst other things. Okay. Um, and buildings are being made as well. Um, the other thing that you notice as the morning sun actually rises is you see a merchant come in very clearly from Alabast, um, and they begin to buy and trade. Uh, you watch as all of your uh, companions' magical items are divvied up in various different ways, loaded into boxes, and are shipped out in different ways. All to this one merchant, though? Yep. Does he have any distinguishing marks or, like, a trade banner or anything like that? Uh, well, not just with him. Like, they're they're putting stuff on, on boats, too. Like, they're loading oh. up stuff on boats, and they're loading stuff up on other things. Gosh, darn it. Um, darn it. It's, like, it's like a trade network. It's actually baffling to see how quickly they've established some sort of strange trade network to get supplies. It seems that the magical items they're pilfering, like pirating, um, are being sold for more just, like, weapons, armaments, food, uh, various different things. The merchant that comes in is a uh -huh. green dragonborn. A green dragonborn? A green dragonborn, yeah. Green. You hear no names exchanged. Uh, but he very much appears to have a, a, a cloth-covered wagon, um, and he is very easily trading goods. Okay. Then one of the paladins comes up to you with a piece of paper as you're being hung there uh, in the center of town. Uh, Remy will, having tried to sleep as best he could, open his eyes very groggily and look at said piece of paper. You see a young man, and he's holding up a letter. And he basically looks at you and goes, we need you to sign this. If you're willing to, we will feed you. Uh, I want to read the letter. What does it say? Uh, he's very cleverly folded it up to the point where it's just needing a signature. He's not showing you what it contains. Unless you show me the letter, I will not sign it. kind of thinks on this for a little bit. Mm. He kind of walks away, and he leaves to, like, a large tent. You get the sense the large tent is where the leader is held. Um, and after a while, the leader comes back. And he walks up to you, his ornate armor kind of framing his visage. He just looks down to you. And he leans down to you, and he goes, you can be saved, you know. <clears throat> uh, Re is his ear near Remy's beak? He's kind of leaning down. He's like to your side. Okay, um, well, with as much voice as he can muster, having been up here for 12 hours, he will hear in a language he might understand or might not. Maviapur Valentia. Which he might or might not know is Valithian for my life for Valithia. <laughs> This is not about Valithia, boy. This is about this place, this stain on the light. You, Our faith. You are a stain on the light. Shit. 
it's you very cling. easy for you to think that. <laughs> you who make friends with things of the dark. You who allow it to fester and grow. I do Those... not have the chance to kill the devil man. And if you think I'm the only one corrupted, you should check with the woman you spared. She is being treated currently for her sickness. Good luck your... with that. <coughs> your devil friend made her quite ill. Sign this letter, and we will give you food and drink. Tell me what the letter is, or I won't sign it. It is a message to some potential allies to the South. Then why do you need my signature on it? So it does not get intercepted by Alavastian couriers. That sounds like a you problem. He punches you in the face. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> he just made it a you problem. Uh, you, take, you take five points of bludgeoning damage as you get smacked and a cracking noise erupts across your face. Oh, God. He's got an armor gauntlet, so it hurts pretty bad. Oh. All right. No food or water for this one. And let the orcs know they can throw rocks at him. He walks away. Yes, sir. And open up that coffin thing. I want to see what's in there. There's all kind of like talking and yammering as people are kind of running around. Uh, blood will trickle down Remy's face and out of his beak after he just got whacked. Mm -hmm. I assume he hasn't been healed from the battle, correct? So it's just the nope. same hit point. All righty. Well, okay. Uh, as you're standing there, um, a person walks up to you, another one of the clerics. Uh, this is the one that took Liza's mask, actually. Um, and she kind of cautiously kind of looks side to side and kind of walks up to you and goes, uh, which color, by the way, Oh, in the battle, like orange, oh, yellow. Boy, let me grab my stack. <laughs> that actually, it's really important to how he role plays it. That's the only reason I'm asking. It was blue, wasn't it? It was blue. Yeah. Blue. Okay. Oh yeah. 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 It was blue. Okay, cool. Sorry. I have it circled. Uh, she kind of like looks side to side and kind of runs up and she pulls out the mask and she goes, um, where did you get this from? <laughs> I, I did not get it. It was a friend of mine's. Oh, and the evil folk took it from them. Uh, the evil folk? Yes, the kobold and the, and the devil man. She kind of shudders as she says that. No, you, you misunderstand. <laughs> it belongs to them. Oh, she kind of looks at it and kind of flips it over. Are there more? More masks <laughs> than like I've this seen. One. No. That is the only one I've ever seen them use. I thought I've seen another one. She kind of flips over the mask and looks at it. Well, what did it look like? It looked kind of like a bird. But it was in a dream, and I don't remember it that well. Hang on, no time. Uh, bird mask. All right. I was wondering if you guys could talk a little bit louder into your mics, by the way. You're very quiet. Yep. I'm kissing my mic right now. So I'm kissing my mic too. <laughs> I got okay. you though. Yeah, no worries. Uh, as she kind of ponders this, you see a paladin, like probably the bigger of the bigger ones. He kind of rushes over, stomping in the mud. There's mud splattering everywhere, and he yells, "Evelina!" She kind of turns. Don't go playing around there. She goes. Sorry. She kind of gives you a nod and then runs off after her paladin. And we will jump back to Canary's Perch. As you guys ride on the Coladas and make your way, you eventually see now uh, the way that Canary's Perch kind of functions. It is exactly as how Zenryo explained it. It is a massive island that is just ships. There is no actual landmass. There's a few rocks here and there, but not enough to like make housing on. It's like you could sit on it maybe. Um, but mostly you just see bobbing in the water, various different ships. Some of them are half sunken. Some of them are on their side. Um, a few of them are still floating. 
but each and every single one of them that is occupied has some sort of like structure built on top of it whether it be like a simple tent like house or a stall or something like that uh, there's a general murmur to the town. You see people kind of moving around. There's not a lot of people, um, but they tend to be kind of moving about their business. You do see and watch, as you guys ride your coladas, a, um, a small vessel kind of land uh, coming from the east and begin to unload gear. And before you guys even make it to land, immediately leave uh, and head back uh, to head back eastward again. Uh, as you guys make your way, you reach a boat, which you believe is a probably the best bet you're going to have at like a landing spot um there's not a lot to offer um in terms of like uh, docking for non-ship based transport um, uh with the exception of some lines that would probably be used by triton how big would you say this uh, this uh canary's perch is um uh, i would say the canary's perch is about the size of the at least two or three lower districts of alabath so okay. reasonably large but not massive. If I were to um, compare it to a thing that existed a long time, a thing that existed from a movie, would you say that Singapore from the third Pirates of the Caribbean would be accurate? Uh, I don't know that comparison. That's I would tons, say it would that's be... just tons of boats. <laughs> oh, I I, I I I forgot those movies. To be perfectly honest with you, it's it's about the size of like. Um, it's it's big. It's pretty big. Um, I'm trying to think of what. <laughs> Person. I can't really think of anything okay. right now. Um, currently, kind of almost similar to Alavaz, this spire in the center is this absolutely massive vessel that has just basically been trapped, like snagged on this massive, like spiraled rock. You can just see where the rock juts out, and any sailor could have missed that while seafaring. Um, and as you guys reach the shore, uh, you guys get off. Oh, yeah, nowhere yeah. else to go. Yeah. Yeah. You guys all jump off the ship, or your ship, your coladas. Uh, and as you get off, the coladas kind of like try and get aboard the dock and begin to splinter the wood as they're trying to like follow you and like kind of kicking up and like like breaking through the, the rotting saltwater wood. Uh, the one looks at you, Zenrio, and is like, It's okay. We'll see you again, right? Oh, is this Jerry? Am I talking to Jerry? Yeah, you're talking to Jerry. Okay. Jerry, Brett, we only knew each other for a short time. But I think you're one of my best friends. Dude, dude, give me that look. I'm gonna cry, <laughs> bro. Bro, you have to go back to your home. <sighs> you stay. I go. No following. Motherfucker. <laughs> Jerry turns around and jumps back into the water, following Jerry! Kyle. You watch as they swim and disappear into the depths. This is just as sad as the end of Harry and the Hendersons. I'm like, I'm really fucking <laughs> right now. I can't God. believe it's gone. Okay, well, let's get going. All right, well, we should find a tavern or at least some place around here where people can at least, we Wait. can talk to. Hey, we yeah. should Bork find Bork. some disguises, honestly, Borky, because Borky. we don't know how much influence the United Orange clergy has here. Borky grabs all, all of them kind of like by the shoulders, like just pff, pulls them in for a huddle. Time for a team huddle. <laughs> Put the heads in. Okay. We didn't come up. We need to have a cover story, though, right? If we ever go to a place where we can't admit who he is, we gotta come up with a cover story. So what's our cover story? Um. We're, uh. Oh, uh, um. Yeah. No, that wouldn't work. As you guys are huddled around, people are beginning to notice. Uh, there's two tritons dressed up in like kind of this this like fish skin jacket that kind of leerily gaze towards you guys and then kind of whisper to each other and keep walking. You see a, uh, a woman currently hacking apart some of those hagfish that uh, you had killed, Task. Not the ones specifically you killed, but like the ones you yeah. have killed. Uh, she's currently like hacking them and like kind of dissecting them and she's like watching and doing it at the same time and kind of narrowing her eyes. She looks quite old. As she's doing this and they're kind of flipping and snapping and and moving frantically as they're literally being like dissected well us standing here in the middle of the town this us standing here on the docks is already arousing suspicion i say we just walk and move okay <laughs> our cover story is is that we're sell swords for hire yeah we're we're, we're privateers borky okay mm -hmm. yeah and yeah. we're all married because we're not actually married Wait, to each other? No, 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 maybe. Oh. Guys, we're privateers. Let's not complicate this. 
Sell sword privateers. Let's move. Okay. All right, you guys get moving. As you guys move, you have to walk ship to ship. So there's gang planks kind of connecting everything together. Uh, there's no openness to this. Everything is has a path. Um, and each ship is different. Some people let you on their ships. At one point, work you stepped onto a ship and like uh, a train's like, blah, 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 like yelling at you, like, okay, oh, man, just, I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sorry, uh, sorry. Uh, my bad. <laughs> and as you guys walk, uh, you see Triton, you see human, and there's a very clear sense of divide between the two. Mm -hmm. uh, but then you see some of them hanging out, and they also seem kind of divided from the other two. Um, and as you guys walk, you see, as you kind of make your way kind of near the center, at this point you guys are kind of like to the northwest of this, this island, quote-unquote. Uh, as you guys kind of turn a corner and make your way, you hear a laugh. Someone's laughing at you. <laughs> Perception. Borky hears laughter. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, same. Who dares? Who did it? Oh, that's an 18. It's a 16. <laughs> Borky, it's a seagull. 22. There's a, sea, there's a seagull laughing. Five. At you. Oh. That's a nap, it's a nap, nap one. one. That is absolutely a seagull laughing at you. How dare that seagull laugh at you? Yeah, that seagull thinks you're pretty funny. Don't be laughing with is me, it, not is, at me. Is it just, it's just a regular ass seagull or? Yeah. The rest of you who pass this check, uh, you see a dwarf sitting kind of cross legged on the edge of this kind of dock piece that connects two large boats. And he's currently drinking out what looks like a, like a dusty rum bottle. And he's missing an eye. His eye's kind of swollen in. There used to be an eye there, but it's gone. He doesn't wear any anything to cover it. He's I... missing, oh, he's missing leg, too. Oh. And he's just got this big, crazy, like, explosion of a black beard. And, like, he just, he smells awful. And he's like, <laughs> Oh, he's laughing. Oh, so we physically see him laughing at yeah, us. Yeah, you yes. see him laughing I, at you. Taz stops and turns and looks at him. Something you find interesting, friend? Arr, 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 arr. Hi, there sure be something I see here. A bunch of driftings lost at sea. Well, you'd be looking at cell swords. That's no question there. Oh, no cell swords come riding in on Sinlas Cascadia's Caladas. Look, we've actually been through a whole hell of a lot. I no one here is not, but you need to be wary about being on this here canary's perch, much less you find a sword running up your rump. He takes a swig. And what, pray tell, do you think we should do to keep ourselves from getting shivved? Got a gold piece on you, lad. I, I, no, I, fucking, wait, how much money do I, no, they, did they take all of our money? They took all your money, yeah. No, part of the reason why we're sell swords, sir, and we're sticking to it. <laughs> did you lose your money, son, to bandits? Worse, zealots. Oh, so you've been seeing the sun hats, have you? Ah, more than we wish we could. And ye don't be friends of the sun hats, do ye? Makes sense, you being from the darkness and all, and him having horns of the devil. More like they're not friends of ours. <laughs> <laughs> he laughs. Oh, lads, the moment you stepped aboard Canary's Perch, you made enemies of everyone. Oh, shame be. You best be making your way through, but you're going to need a vice. That's why me, the old quiet man, can aid ye. You know where he is? Oh, you be looking at him. The pinnacle of beauty. We're listening. <laughs> hey, but first, and he kind of rubs his two fingers together. Rum don't pay for itself, you know. Well, as you can see, sir, we don't have any money on us because the Sun Hats took it all, so how would you want us to pay? One uh, of you has money. What? There's one of us? Zenria. One, yeah, Zenria has money. Everyone turns and looks at Zenria. <laughs> I'm just looking at this seagull like, yo, I think he's laughing at you. You want to get up there? I just, I don't, man, I'll, I'll kick his ass. I swear to God, I will. I punch Zenrio in the arm. Uh, how, dude? What the hell? He's working for task. I look over. The, I look over to the quiet Do man. Do you know that seagull, bro? This is the quiet man. Hello. Oh. Hey, he's not very quiet. Oh, I can understand you. Uh, I was worried I'd have to like you know get in really close and listen to what you were going to say. What? Okay, so Zedrio, you... I'm going to have to ask you. We might need a loan of money, a gold coin. Oh, hey, gold coin? Sure, no problem. Here you go. I'll reach into my little pouch and pull out a gold and sort of like daintily 
hold it out. He for... snatches it up and he grabs it and he sticks it in his tooth, like sticks it in his mouth. You just see like a whole bunch of missing teeth and a couple of gold teeth. And he bites down and he kind of goes, "Hi, right, that be the real deal there. And he just pockets it and he goes, all right, let me tell you about Canary's Perch real quick if you think you're going to be skedaddling around on these here boats. So there's three factions aboard here. And let me grab my information. Yeah. Oh boy, exposition, let's go. All right. So the first one ye might know about, you scaled lad, and he kind of jabs a finger towards you, Zenrio. <laughs> you got the Barris of the Rough Skins. They've been around these parts before Canary's Perch was born. They think they own it. They think they own everything. They like the fishy folk, the Sang Huans, the Tritons, the Merfolk, dolphins. <laughs> he spits in the water. Freaking, Freaking dolphins. Them. Yeah. Fucking dolphins. Stupid ass dolphins, if you ask me. Mm. You who walk on two land and breathe the air, yeah, those are your enemies there. They'd be sooner to gut a human than a fish. One of their brothers or sisters any day. Yeah, Boris is the meanest bastard of the lot. Got a mean streak like an eel. Is he a he triton kind of too? Takes a swig. Aye, he's a barracuda triton, you know. Ooh, barracuda, yeah, yeah. They're real mean. Mean maw teeth there. Not even his mother would love a face like that. Arr, 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 arr. Well, <laughs> I just imagine the crabs. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say this is just the crabs. Then you got the human gang. That's what they call themselves. But in truth, they kind of encapsulate all them fresh water, or fresh air breathers, the ones who walk on two legs. You can't swim worth a damn at the moment the tide gets rough. Aye, those are the fishers. And they don't like you, and he points towards you, Zenrio. Yeah, oh, I bet they'd like me if they got to know me. Aye, they'd like you if they got to know the inside of your organs from your tit to your intestines. Not his tit. Uh, not my tit. <laughs> I need that, I think. <laughs> then you got the new blood. She came in a few months back and made herself sitting on that giant ship up there, and he jabs a finger towards the giant kind of uh, a sided uh, ship there. She's the real bitch of the lot. Her name is Kulith Cascadia, and a bunch of both fish and humans swarm to her, calling themselves the Storm's Convergence. Storm's, con Storm's Convergence? Storm's Convergence, yeah. Ooh. Storm's Convergence. If, there are, if you think it's bad that the fish guys like to gut and the fishers like to kill, she's the worst of the lot. She likes to make friends, any kind of friends, good or bad. And if you were dealing with sun hats, well, she's got the worst friends in the business. Does, does that mean she's friends with the sun hats or not? I'm sorry. Just speak. He kind of takes he kind of takes a swig and blinks with his one good eye. It, um... She gave him a couple of boats, requisition from some of the fishers, let them use them. And the only stipulation they get a count of the bounty. Oh, wow. She does make friends with everybody. Mm. Based on what I know, she's got a sister in the depths. Apparently, the two of them were potential suitors for some big storm giant fuck. Oh. Unfortunately for Kulith, she didn't exactly have the charms that he liked. So she's been sitting up here and being sour about the whole affair. Kind of just rolled in, and everybody else rolled with her. Bunch of arseholes. He kind of takes another swig. So what's your suggestion that we take in any of this? You get in and you get out. And if you plan on heading towards the Sun Hats to get some sort of revenge, don't take the surface. The moment any word rings out by any fucking seagull that you're heading to the north, oh, that bitch will rear up a storm that'll make you wish twice. But, lads... If you got away under the water, that ain't just your bodies being out in the open. There's hope for you yet. You know of any way to do so? I know of rumors. It w Head towards the eastern side of the dock. You'll find some help there, I think. It takes another swig. Here's another good question for you, sir. Know anything about orcs? I 
The blue skin sea orcs. I I do. Borky's ears perk up. Yeah. Hmm. They got right fucked a long time ago. Who By who? Who did the fucking? <laughs> I did the fucking a while ago, you know what I'm saying? He kind yeah. of laughs. Oh, yeah, I got that, Jake. Uh, Bork... As for the orcs, a long time ago they had this leader of theirs. Can't remember the bastard's name. They thought that they would go inside of some temple to some metal lady and requisition a sword. Turns out some adventures came in and right gutted him. After that, tensions divided, leadership was questioned, and they just started in fighting. Nice enough for the people of the Balton village, but sure as hell stank for the orcs. Not that they didn't stink already, no offense. And he kind of juts a chin towards you, Berkey. Where's the Balton village? Hi, Balton village is away off from their encampment now. It's a mining town, a little bit uh, to the east, northeast. That's eh, not exactly the best place to go. You want the orcs, though? You had, uh, you had north, uh, actually northeast. Fountain Village, northwest. I don't go to the mainland very often. <laughs> so the no, but that was, that was enough, that was some good information you gave us anyway, sir. So, the the so... village is, from what I know, is still rebuilding after the orcs keep attacking it. And from what I hear of rumors, they attack quite a bit. For supplies. Not for the people, which is usually what they would go for, but eh. lots of mine in there. Slaves are always useful. Hmm. So a good chunk of the orcs of my Belton village and swing by all the time then. Aye. Oh, there's one more thing you need to know about the orcs, eh? Mm -hmm. Come in real close there, laddie. And you too, and he points to you, Panic, the two of you. Yeah. Yeah. If, if you two went right and rutted and fucked, that would be what some of the orcs look like. What you're saying is they got some See, demonic features. They're very sexy, is what you're saying. They do. They're very sexy. <laughs> if you call having giant fuck all horns sexy, then I, yeah. Well, maybe to some people, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the orcs who attacked this town, they, they got I have demon gotten horns. Around. Aye, what was that? Your friend there was talking about his escapades. <laughs> oh, don't mind me. So, uh, I. I guess out of, out of character real fast. So pretty much he's describing uh, who are attacking the village. They were, they pretty much, they had... The orcs that, it, the orcs that attacked the village were led by an orc that looked like, like, part devil. Oh, interesting. Okay. Like, had horns and shit. And that there's others that look like that, too. Okay. There we go. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You. Hmm. Forky just kind of rubs his chin. Thank you very much. Do you, well, in the short term, do you know of any place where we can rest our asses for a bit? Hi, I just gave you your advice. You head over to the eastern docks. I think you'll find what you're looking for. Fair enough. All right. Borky, and uh, keep your wits about you. Can Borky insight him? Insight him? Yeah, for, for sure. 11. 11. Seems like he just wants his money and his drink. Okay. All right, well, I I do know, well, we have, I don't think we have anything, uh, I would say a shopping trip is in order, but we don't have any money. Could we... I you don't want to go shopping around here either. If you're looking for any sort of water breathing apparatus or nothing, you're best just going with him, and he points towards Zenrio. That shit flies off the shell here and is marked up to unbelievable prices. Damn it. All right, well... Boy, you're in the middle of the bloody fucking ocean. <laughs> Breathing underwater is a premium. But here, let me get some breath off your back. And he hands you the rum bottle. Task. Is it... it like, it's full? It's half full. He wants me to swig it right in front of him. Yeah, he's just offering you a drink. He sees he sees that you're you're kind of pent up at the moment, and he's just like, here, alcohol. Uh, I'm gonna perception check it to see if there's anything wrong with it with a sniff. For sure. Mostly, mostly, just act as uh, a. It's gonna act. As... Investigation check. Investigation instead oh, of. Perception. Oh, I apologize. I'm sorry. No, it's all good. <laughs> it's 
it's it's alcohol is what it's it is. alcohol if there's anything in there i mean the uh, alcohol would crickles, overpower crickles it crickles will investigate make sure it's not freaking poisoned Ew. Okay, that will be the last investigation. Yeah, uh, that was technically that was technically only supposed to be tasks roll. Oh, uh, well, budget, I don't. Sorry. I don't like it when strangers are offering my friends drinks. Well, from you what, know what? That's hmm? rich coming from you. <laughs> <laughs> from what you see, it's just rum. Like for the rest of you guys, as you look at it, it's just a bottle of rum. And he's been drinking it. Like he's been drinking it like this whole time, and like just like. Ah, that's fair. That's fair. Generously. Quit being, quit being uh, such a stinker and just take the man's drink. I take, a, I, take a, I take a swig. All right, roll a constitution saving throw for me. Here I go. Okay. Ooh. As you take a drink, it is not poisoned, but there is backwash. Uh, and, and you take it and you're like, oh God, but you manage to swallow it. And like the dwarf laughs and yanks the bottle Ooh. back for me. He goes, I, there you go. Bring some breath back into those lugs. And he pats you so hard in your chest. You kind of get, get pushed back a bit. All right, that's all I got for you. That's what gold, one gold's worth is about. Be best on your way, and don't mind falling between the cracks of the ships. Much less something drag you down into the depths and you never see the sky again. Arr, 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 arr. What a pleasant Same. fellow. <laughs> yeah, for a guy in the quiet, man, he talks a lot. I think that name is more ironic than anything. Well, let's yeah. head let's head east to this place that he told us to find. Okay. Uh, you head eastward. Um, kind of walking over different ships. There's various markets, but they're all, like, they're not really, like, storefronts. Like, they're not really, like, you know, there's some people who are selling food, like, to, obviously, to sailors and things like that. Like, people who are kind of working on the docks and whatnot. Um, but most of what's going on is you just see shitloads of fish being processed. Like, just an absurd mm -hmm. amount of fish coming mm -hmm. and going. You see goods moving. And the one thing you see is that there are various, there's no law here. There's no guard. You guys are so used to Alabas, you're used to Doros and his men, you're used to at least stationed guards in various corners. There are no guards here, but there are armored people. Like, not armored, but like armed people who are kind of hanging around certain areas. Right. Um, Greckles, because of your background, mm -hmm. uh, which is criminal, I believe, right? Yes, that is. You know that these certain areas being protected are being protected by a gang. Um, yep. So one of the three gangs that have been mentioned. Um, the ones, surprisingly, that would be most heavily protected are the ones that have fresh produce. <laughs> that makes sense. What what race are the guards? Uh, you see, you're able to tell who's who. Um, there's human guards, sometimes just two humans kind of like peering out. Two tritons sometimes hanging around certain ships, kind of eyeing up people walking by, and you guys in particular. Every time you guys walk by, the guards kind of like stiffen. Uh, and then you see even some humans and tritons kind of laughing and talking um, and don't seem to pay you guys much mind as you guys pass through. For the ones that, are like, the, the most, for the for the fresh produce area, what are the mm -hmm. guards? What are the guards? Yeah, uh, no, the fresh what produce, are they? Uh, one is a human, very old human, uh, but definitely looks like battle ready. Uh, the other one appears to be some sort of, like, uh, half-elf or full-elf, potentially. Mm. It's kind of hard to tell. They're, they're wearing, like, a bandana, so their ears are kind of hidden between some hair, so you're not quite sure. But he's got, like, mm. a bow on his back. These guys look equal to your strength, if not stronger than you. They are rough and tumble. They know what they're about. Um, and you know they've seen some shit. So everyone here, the fact that no one has just straight up just shanked you guys immediately is a good sign that you're doing something right. But at any moment any sort of misstep, it, it could happen. Um, Borky is, nope. no, is not normally walking around right now with his, uh, look at all the pretty things demeanor. Borky's very stern looking forward to, and I mean, he's got, and he's actually going to be carrying uh, Ron Fault, kind of like, rather than oh, strapped over his back, it's actually going to be in his hand, pressed up against his shoulder. Kind of a sign okay. of strength. As you're, as you're holding it, uh, you hear a voice in your mind, Borky, go, Borky. In his mind, yes. I have something I must talk to you about, and I must do it quickly. The dwarf mentioned um, a female storm giant, and I noticed while we were in the depths of the water, you spoke to a female storm giant. Correct. I believe you. Let so me teach you about giant women. Okay. <laughs> Giantesses are fucking scary. It's because they're big, right? Oh, it is not just because they are big, Borky. It is because they are very smart. They, unlike their male kin in most cases, can do things that we cannot. 
including, and you hear him take a deep breath in, despite being a ghost, math. <laughs> yes, as frightening as it may be, they, they have mastered math, as well as many magics that we don't know. So if you are ever in the presence of a giantess, be polite. Okay. Bow your head. And do never ask if they are pregnant or not, and never ask their age. Okay. So just you get regular girl stuff. Is that how it works for the small folk? Most. Most of them, yes. I see. Okay, good. <laughs> he nods. You kinda, and you feel the detachment of that conversation. Um, panic, I would like you to roll a perception check as you guys are making your way through. I guess I will. I sure hope nobody questions me on my change in accent suddenly. Yeah, see, I was going to, but then I was like, fuck it. Why, why are you doing a changed accent? It's, you said we needed a, identities. Oh. Uh, I'm no longer Panic Grimton. Oh, okay. Perception, you said? Yeah, perception. Hey, that is a 14. Okay. Uh, as you guys are walking, I'm just going to speak this out so no, no one interrupt me. These are the sequence of events that happen. As you guys are walking, uh, the the boats get more and more dense. There's just more of them, and they're all kind of being put together. They get bigger and bigger as you reach the center, mostly due to the fact that if there was a small boat, it would be probably crushed between two big ones. Hmm. Um, and as you guys proceed, the boats get huge, uh, massive, and eventually things like alleys begin to crop up, like just like junk piled up. Uh, as you guys are walking, you notice you're kind of being followed um, by various different people. Um, they're kind of eyeballing you up. Um, and as you guys are kind of picking up on that panic, you feel two firm hands, boom, boom, hit your shoulders. And you hear a voice go, ah, oh, there you are. They're behind you. I turn around. Well, howdy, friend. You turn around, you're immediately met with a massive chest. And as you lean your head up, you see a Goliath. You see Zeus looking down back at you. <laughs> and it goes slack jaw, just like. He leans in and kisses you hard on the mouth. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> wow. As he does, he pulls his, his mouth from yours and he whispers really quietly, play along, you're being followed. Oh, I was hoping you wouldn't get too lost after I sent the invitation for you to perform. I am so sorry. I should have been more direct with my directions. <laughs> oh, it's... Oh. It's no, pro it's no problem. <laughs> thank, thank you. Yes, the the pleasures of drift is this way. I see you've brought your entourage, your fellow musicians. Ah, uh, yes, my uh, my manager, of course. I I believe we've met before. My two uh, the two roadies I have, uh, and a nice young fish man I picked up along the way. He looks like he could be useful. Hi, oh, that's me. Hey, <laughs> he's kind of cute too. Yeah, thanks. Isn't he me too? It's good to see you again. Uh, why don't you let me lead you to the Pleasures Adrift, and we can uh, get you set up for your performance tonight. And as you task, because you're kind of keeping an eye on the people following you, you see one of the Tritons kind of sheath a blade and then back away. Mm. Absolutely, I'll lead the way then. Excellent. And he kind of reaches his hand around, and he smacks your butt. Ooh. Just, just, very <laughs> firm. just, just a good... Yeah, yeah, there's some grab in there. Zeus is not Zeus is not a crower. Sorry, uh, I, I what what yeah, just, should we should we fill in exactly? Let's who Zeus fill is in the newcomers. The, yeah, let's fill in who I, Zeus I, is. Sorry, I don't mean to allow me. Great all, but allow like... me. <laughs> Zeus is one of the workers at the Romansion in Alabast, and one of the people that Panic ordered on the third floor. Prostitute. Goliaths Prostitute. are impressed by displays of oh, great right! skill. They're impressed by displays of great skill and uh huh. Woo! <laughs> well then. All right. So as you guys are Color. led by by Zeus, he kind of makes like pleasant talk, but you guys are all aware that does, this does, is just. Does, like... does he have his arm around Panic the whole time? Yeah. Oh yeah. He's mm. got like he's he's like full on like you're on a date Panic, and he's got his arm and he's kind of pointing out like this is where they sell uh, this vegetable so called this, a this is this, this is for the artist. So this is an arm around the waist. 
Very, uh... Sh shoulders. Shoulders. Oh, wow. Very proper. He's a Goliath, yeah. after all. And he's pulling him close. You're very close. And it's 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 a mixture of both... He likes you, and the, the other thing is he doesn't want you to get hit if anything were to hit you at this point. Panic um, is noticeably way more comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You basically have, like, an eight-foot-tall bodyguard now who's kind of, like... He's also shirtless, by the way. You've never seen this man with a shirt. Mm. Um, as you guys are being led <laughs> through, you guys get kind of worried every time you guys cross. Wait, was he shirtless all the other times I saw him on the street yeah. in Alavest? Yeah, oh no, yeah, he's shirtless Oh my all god, the time. I love him. Panic, <laughs> panic, shirts yeah. of prisons. Welcome to episode sixty-nine. <laughs> 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 hey, why do you think? Why do you think I lose my shirt so often? Because <laughs> it's okay, like you; well, it's very loose. Well, while we're walking, Greckles will be actively looking for any tailors or any people watching us. Uh, at this point, they are gone. The moment Zeus seemed to have shown up, they all seem to have left. You don't seem to notice anybody anymore. <laughs> Besides so the idle glances you get from like cr crabbers and and fish uh, fish uh, b -b 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 fishmongers and things like that, they seem to have left. No, I'll still keep it on guard just in case. Yeah, you guys, you guys keep a good glance out. Uh, but with with the company of Zeus, who's just like, yes, I was actually brought here for training. Uh, well, not me training, of course. I'm an I'm an expert, as Panic knows, and he gives you all a wink. But uh, no, we have uh, this is sort of where we bring in the new Romantian employees, the escorts, of course, as well as other ones, and we teach them essentially. So, really, you, this is uh, this is where you, Monty, you train them. You have mm. created Buccaneer's Den in Alavast. And God, God damn it, that's amazing! I don't sex... know what that is, is this, but yeah. Uh, is this sex school? That's an Ultima reference. Oh, okay. I don't, oh, I Buccaneer's know. Den. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. I remember. Fuck yeah! <laughs> I, it's, it's not much uh, compared to the mansion, of course. I mean, I work there. But um, it's a good group of people. You, usually new trainees come in. I mean, this is the rough and tumblest most part of Alavast for the most part. So if you can get past here, then oh, you'll be fine in the city, you know? This explains why all, all the employees look so calm and at peace with their job. Mm, well, that and we have good uh, rules, so to speak, and for both employee and employer. Oh, I would <laughs> hope so. Mm -hmm. And, of course, food and drink. This place, the Pleasures Adrift, is a bit different than the Romantian. It uh, doesn't have as much as the commodities. Only one real commodity is here, and I'm sure you can guess what that is. What is it? I'm bad at guessing. <laughs> Well, if you have gold on you, you might find out. <laughs> I do not. What I think we mean? actually, I think we actually saw a boat with your employer on it as we yes. were on the way. Yes, I was aboard the love boat. Yes, they dropped me off. Oh. And uh, actually, bird. I, I'm so sorry, I forgot your name. Uh, Grimbles was it? You're you're close there, Zeus. It's yes, it's Grimbles. Grimbles, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. Uh, princess, push. princess is here for training too. She's, oh, uh, really? Yeah. She might be busy, though. She's got a lot of people to train. Oh, yeah. well, that's the disappointing. Male, the male escorts can be a little bullheaded and uh, a bit stubborn in training, so she's kind of got her hands. Gotta break them in, huh? Pause. Yeah, Pauseful. Hmm. He kind of narrows his eyes like, hmm. But hmm. Um, no, uh, over here, just this way. And mind your step here. The gang plagues can slip at a moment's notice, and I hate to see any of you drown. Hmm. You're all looking excellent, by the way. In panic, you were looking... Oh, you're looking great. Uh, <laughs> Greckles, uh, Greckles, Greckles will actually shoot a look directly at Zeus and, and uh, non-verbally basically try to communicate, we got fucked. You, like, look disappointedly? It's not, it's, it's like, first, like, sadness, disappointment, and then anger. Mm. Well, uh, double the time. We'll get to the pleasures of Drift. I think you guys could use a little pleasure. <laughs> um... Can Bork, can Borky, yes, can Borky, please. Can Borky inside him? Yeah, absolutely. You don't trust the, the manly... Se seven. You trust him completely! <laughs> mm. I didn't Bork, know Panic Bork, was dating anyone. Borky, you look at him, you look at Panic, and you go, how? Hmm. Just show for mechanics over to mind-boggling. Uh, as you guys make your way towards the Pleasures of Drift, we jump back to Remy. Hope he ain't dead. <laughs> oh, fuck. I sure hope the guys are working on rescuing me and not having sex. <laughs> All right, I'm ready for my scene. Close up, Mr. DeVille. <laughs> <laughs> 
Just yeah. make sure you get my good side. As midday breaks. Oh God, it's been 24 hours. Kill me now. All of the paladins and clerics and the orcs gather. Where? Outside of their, uh, just outside. Okay. Some chuck rocks at you, uh, which you take more damage as a result. Oh no, please don't actually give me damage. It's just one point of damage. Uh, he passes out. Oh no, you're out, yep. yeah. He's out. You're passed out. That's it. He's not dead. No, but that was it. Yeah, you Thanks for that. Out. I can Damn survive rock. anything you can throw at me. One rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh. As you as you waken up, uh, you're you're face to face with the leader, uh, and he kind of he's just grabbing your your head like like just aggressively. <laughs> no, no, don't you die on us. We have plans for you. Oren has plans for you. Your God, huh? <laughs> Did he have the balls to show up himself? <coughs> he shows up in the things that we do. Yes. The treacherous things that you do. You will be judged. If not by him, then by someone. By history, perhaps. <laughs> you are a sad, sad creature. But at least one of us will die with honor. You are tied to a post. Do not gaze upon my battered body in this post and believe me to be anything less than honorable. My father once taught me that honor and stupidity walk the same path. He kind of gives you a pat on the cheek and then steps forward and raises his hand and goes, We will begin the midday prayers. And you watch as every single person in this camp uh, is kind of um, circling the camp. Uh, and they do recite a prayer. Does Remy know any prayers of Orin? No. Well, actually, no. knowledge religion. Actually, knowledge religion. Okay. May you might not like it, it as simple as like an Our Father would be to like Catholicism, like nothing fancy. But all right, here we go. Uh, come on, where's religion? It should be under R. There we go. I can't oh, see okay. it. Twenty. I'll you take know, that. Soft twenty. You know, you know one because of Solly. Okay. You talked uh, to Solly, and Solly explained one to you. Got it. Okay. So as they're going through their prayers, if that one is said he's going to recite it with them. Otherwise, he's going to wait for them to be done and then just start reciting it, mumbled. Okay. It is not the same one uh, as okay. they begin. Uh, the, the leader goes forward and, like, some of the paladins take a knee. Um, a lot of the clerics hold on to holy symbols. The orcs, some of them seem kind of like, okay. Um, the leader seems really, like, totally, like, 100% invested in this. Um, the prayer they say is, No shadow can but hide, no light, night eternal lasts, dawn brings hope and day truth, neath light that Orin casts. By sun we see, in light we thrive, through night we hope and dream, with dawn we rise. See the dawn, come and rejoice, fear not the dark nor shadow. By Orin's light do we see, it does by wheat and barley grow, and does this all live by Orin. We thank the dawn for morning meal. We honor you, O celestial, with midday bread. If lift ye days last to the candle and hearth fire, Orin's gift to the morrow, may you see true by the light. And everyone kind of repeats the last line back and then all sort of disperse. And then as you do, um, the leader walks by and kind of leans over and says, may you see true by the light. And I need you to roll a perception check. Okay, is this vision? Yep, this is vision, so with advantage. Okay. Eight, doesn't matter. Eight, yeah. You, you even try to get out the prayer, but you just, <laughs> just kind of collapse where you are. Your stomach feeling like an acidic pit in the depth. Your mouth parched. You can barely breathe now. 
and we will jump back to the pleasures of drift. <laughs> oh boy, I can't wait to go have sex. <laughs> I'll uh, as you guys, Remy. as you guys walk to the center of Canary's Perch, you are now in the shadow of this massive uh, banked ship. It is just like like a tower in the center uh, is present. Um, and as you guys reach the center, the ships get just bigger and bigger and bigger. And eventually, you make your way to a very large ship uh, with basically just a house built on top of it. Uh, and there's this really gaudy clam and pearl sort of motif on it. Uh, and in the center, framed in like kind of now tattered bronze, is pleasures adrift. Uh, and Zeus kind of like claps his hands together and displays it, like outstretches his arms, like here it is. Ooh. Talk about so is this like a Zenrio, this is a... Zenrio claps lightly. Is, is is this like one of the boats, or is it, is it like a, a traveling vessel? It's like a, it seems this thing won't travel anymore. It was oh, okay. obviously converted into this this establishment now. Gotcha, um, gotcha. The boat itself just looks awful. Like it's not it's not something you would ever like present as a place like this. But it is functioning as a part of land in which to build this sort of establishment. If that makes sense. It's really okay. crazy that we bumped into you here. We've yeah, got, no. We was oh, actually heading to the that. east. We was told to go there to find someone. Was it you? I don't know. Oh, Perhaps okay. love brought us together. And he kind of pinches your cheek, panic. <laughs> he just teases. That seems to be what he does. Um, oh, so happy for you, panic. He didn't know. Uh, he opens the door for all of you to enter. Uh, the moment you he opens the door, you get the smelling of the smell of like jasmine and various other odors. Like you guys have been walking around dead fish and like like brine pools and like crab odor. Uh, so the moment you're hit with the scent of jasmine, it's almost overpowering, um, and you hear like light, gentle music coming from inside as you step in. I, I just realized something. Zedrio, this good boy, leaves home for the first time, and what's the first fucking place he goes into? A goddamn brothel. Well, this place is crazy. <laughs> Kids gotta learn sometime. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yo, Zedrio, this is like yeah. the Rome ancient. That means there's gonna be a lot of pretty ladies. Hey, man, if you're into that, I don't know. And they're gonna be all like, oh, oh, you need a lift, I'll help you. So just be cool, be cool, be cool, be cool. Okay, be cool. Got it. Okay. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. Okay. We're cool. We're cool. We're cool. Yeah, we're cool. We're cool. I'm, I'm, As I'm you walk cool. in, uh, it's like velvet carpet. Um, and it's kind of like a tavern. Zen Zenria's never felt velvet before and gets down on his hands and knees and starts just feeling the carpet. Whoa, this is so <laughs> soft. Yeah, he's being cool. Yeah, he's pretty cool. <laughs> How soft is it? Oh, sis, if you want to come down here and feel it? Yeah, yeah, go for a sec. Borky just gets yeah. on his hands and rubs it a little bit. <laughs> oh, it's not bad, not bad. So you not guys bad. start rubbing the carpet. Uh, you watch as, like, a waitress kind of walks by, sees them, and it's just like, hmm, just keeps walking. Yeah, have you felt this carpet? It's crazy! Uh, uh yes, I, 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 um, I have. Cool. Yeah, it's not... <laughs> She's just Bork looking at you as you're doing your thing, and it's just like, ah. Oh. Porky's in. It's time to compose ourselves. Oh, right. Okay. <sighs> he like slowly bends down while he's looking and trying to be cool. Just like touches the carpet with one finger and then comes back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll take a we'll take a table if that's possible. Zeus kind of calls out to the waitress. She goes, uh, uh. She kind of walks up to him and whispers something in his ear. Um, whoever wants to, you can roll a perception check. All righty. Whoever wants. I'm assuming I'm, I'm assuming I'm pretty close to him still. Um, yeah, you, have, you have advantage panic. Yeah. <laughs> 20. Okay. Uh, task and, and panic. Uh, as this, as this, it's a human. Uh, a human kind of like, like, Zeus kind of leans down and she kind of reaches up to whisper in his ear. <laughs> she literally goes, all of them? And he's just like, oh, no, 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 no. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> he kind of looks and goes, maybe, maybe. And kind of shrugs, kind of smiling. <laughs> and she just looks scared. She's like, okay. And just kind of walks away. And uh, he immediately crashes down in the chair and just kind of stretches his back and goes, oh, that was a good stroll. <sighs> Is it safe to talk in here? 
Yes, it is. Everyone here is pretty much with us. When do you return to Alavast? Oh, God, not for another few months. God damn it. Who is returning? We need to send a correspondence. That's the thing. I've been trying to send correspondence to the Romanchin, and conveniently, I'm getting no messages. Huh, you I know why, why that is? I have a feeling. The messages are probably the... being intercepted by the United Oren clergy. I think through the Storm Giantess, who's currently made house here. At the very least, she hasn't been messing with our business, but boy, or oh boy, has she made waves. Pardon, pardon the, the pun, but she's made waves where we really wish she didn't have. To be fair, the actual oh, gang activity here. <laughs> yeah, <Jim. laughs> By the way, what do you what do you do? He points to you, Zenrio. What what is your uh, your talent, your skill? Oh, um, well, uh, I can hand burn. And he like kind of like drums on himself a little bit. Task Task <laughs> slams his fucking face right into the table. He's a mage. Oh, I meant more like if he needed work. Oh, uh, I'm hanging out with these guys. Uh, oh. uh yeah, cool. Yeah, he, okay. he helped us out because uh, can we can we relay the story of what happened to yes. us? Yes, yeah. over drinks, uh, which which Zeus is kind enough to pay for. Yay! He, Yay. He kind of turns to you, panic, and goes, "You owe me," in a teasing sort of manner. Um, he, you guys, explain to him basically everything that happens uh, over drinks, and he he kind of takes back his drink. By the way, not he likes his, he likes colorful drinks. He learned. How, how tiny are the are, are the umbrellas in this drink? Oh, like like the tiniest of umbrellas. Uh, you know, the rest of you... This mojito is on fire, like literally magical fire. <laughs> mm, it's uh, it's it's it. All the drinks are not of large quantity, but they are very fancy, which is kind of weird to see here, considering the actual like crowd. But you can get the sense that some of the people on Canary's Perch may like to you know splurge occasionally and enjoy some finery. Um, you do see a couple of other customers kind of come in. Uh, you do see like a Triton come in, and he he walks in, and he's just like, uh, uh, is uh, is uh, is Sask in? And they're like, oh yes, she's upstairs. He goes, okay. He kind of runs upstairs. Um, <laughs> a few others kind of po poke their heads in and kind of like disappear. Whoa. Does anyone Whoa. grab a Simpson walk in? <laughs> <laughs> no. Anyway, <laughs> while uh, while the talk is going on, Greco's is going to be listening in to see if there's any sort of unrest or dissonance when it comes to the faction rule. Okay. Uh, any sort of mumblings or anything. Even even thieves can't. Okay. Done, Maddie's going to be listening. Because of the time of day, the only people who are currently sitting down and drinking are you guys. Um, mm. Anybody else who's coming in here is going upstairs immediately uh, okay. um they're not they're not they're not here to drink or anything or talk um mm -hmm. that would probably come later but that's the sort right. of thing where now it's safe to talk and the moment that comes later it's probably not safe to talk <sighs> well, sure. as you relay as you relay everything to zeus he kind of rubs his chin and kind of leans back in his chair and he goes hmm so they rammed your ship kidnapped your friend and are holding up northward. That's very bad. That's where the storm giant likes to hang out. Um, yeah, we've been informed that they've sort of made an alliance. Yeah, no, she does. She does that. I mean, it's smart. I mean, can you blame her? But at the same time, it's really bad for us and for all of us. Does hmm. she not see that her siding with literal totalitarianism is going to kill any sort of trade route she wants? She doesn't want trade routes, at least not long term. She wants stuff now, and she doesn't quite care much for the small folk. She's just here doing her own thing. She could care less. Yeah, because of her fucking hate boner for her sister for taking away her husband. Storm giants don't have husbands. They just kind of, and then he does a gesture that yeah. you kind of <laughs> they, understand they, what they, that means. Pat, Borky leans forward, actually, after being quiet for a good long while. She's like, they don't have... They don't have husbands. They have math God. skills. Borky feels smart <laughs> for saying it. Zenrio <laughs> uh, looks at the gesture, which which he sort of tries to... They explore caves? <laughs> In the way. Who <laughs> oh, boy do they. Who poor child. Who boy do they. Episode, hey. episode 69, oh, everybody. Oh, I... I, I... Thank you. I, I see I see panic. You seem to have a lot of company that are people who don't seem to know where they are when they are at <laughs> a brothel. Yeah. Yes, they go spelunking. Oh, okay. 
Oh, I hope mm. I can go spelunking one day. When you're I old enough. I hope so, too. Oh, good. <laughs> If you want, we do have a Triton escort. She's quite nice. Her name is Zolina. Hey, look, man. All I want to do is just feel some carpet, okay? Fair enough. <laughs> I mean, damn I it! Offering. God damn it! That's called a setup, ladies and gentlemen. Ah! That is not a setup. Man, Akko, I love you so much. You're the, you're, that was on point. Son oh. of a bitch. <laughs> I like uh, Zeus leans over to you, panic and goes, "Look, between this and your nun friend, I don't know if you, they're just they don't know, or if they're really leading listen, us on." Listen, I, they're they're all precious baby flowers, and they mm -hmm. haven't really enjoyed the finer things in life. I mean, the, the by the way, just, mm -hmm. he, he, as he as he says that, he pokes you like each time, like going up your 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 chest. Like by oh. the way. Mm -hmm. There is an orc at the Romanchian who wants to fucking strangle you right now. What'd no, you do, female? Pain? No, male. Uh, his name's Brutus. Uh, he was a very beautiful girl. I believe her name was Helena's escort. Um, and from what we know, you used your ticket on her. Um, which, by the way, I terrified the piss out of her when I jumped off the banister in excitement. But that's another story for another time. Um... You didn't tell her what the romantion was, did you? I told her it was a spa, and that is what she went in for. Mm -hmm. She had a good time, okay? She did, but if she found out, do you think she would have had a good time anymore? It gives you the stern fatherly look. I don't know. I just wanted to help her. Mm -hmm. Well, sometimes it helps when you tell people the truth. Because if we had told her, we would have probably made her upset. I didn't think she'd go exploring. I thought she would just go in there for, like, the massage and the spa treatment and everything like that. Come on, you can't pin that on me. While this goes on, uh, <laughs> yeah. Taz, Taz, you got a minute. Taz, like, lifts his head up and looks at Greckles. Do you not have some kind of ability where you can get, like, an animal to go do a message thing? I mean, that's what we did with Log, wasn't it? I do have that, yes. How far can you do that? Let me check my spell. Okay. Tidy beast, see within range, such as a squirrel, blah, 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 blah. You also speak the message of 25 words. Okay. Uh, covers 50 miles per 24 hours if they are flying. How 50 miles? What's that in kilometers? <laughs> I will calculate that. Hold on. Thank, Sorry, thank the rest you. of the world moved on. America. Uh, one one mile one mile is one point six eighty eighty point forty six uh, kilometers. It's much farther than that. The channel's longer if you're going to Alabas. Mm. Well, I do have that, yes, but depending on we went under the we went under the water and we came up in another different location. I don't even know if we're even in close distance for this thing to reach someone. Yeah, but maybe. Maybe one of the factions have it. Hmm. Who would we... Who? Okay, so I guess knowledge history. Who would I know that's nearby that this thing could reach that's near Alavast that could at least belay the message? Uh... That's why I said knowledge history. This is not really like a knowledge check. It's like your memory. Oh, that's a three. Ah, piss. The only potential ally you have here who could make that venture would be Krabius the Mighty. <laughs> Fucking do it! Oh, yeah. Well, we haven't, <sighs> he hasn't been with us, has he? But he's not with you right now. He left you. you don't no, worry. no, but I can also fucking just... No, because here's what the spell says. A spe uh, specific location you must have visited and a receipt who matches a general description. We didn't go that far that I could just whisper to a fish, hey, pass this to Krabius. Because apparently he fucking knows every person in the goddamn ocean! <laughs> oh, yeah, Krabius gets around. <laughs> he's like, he's, um, he's like the Doctor Who of, of, of crustaceans. 
Mm. I could deliver the, I could deliver a message to Krabius. I can do that. And then that. in turn, I would say Krabius could attempt to deliver a message for you. Yes. Through interpretive mighty, dance. What a mighty lad. <laughs> no, they can they can they can recite twenty five words, can't they? Uh, it's not. Krabius recites twenty five bubbles. I can I can speak a message up to twenty five words. Okay. All right, well, I have to, unless you want to come up with a message, I can relay that. Yeah, if okay. you want to type me up a message and send it to me, I can, we can figure that out. Um, in the meantime, uh, Zeus kind of has this argument with you, panic, and then kind of gives up eventually, and he goes, all right, well, I, we can't get you north, but there might be a way we can. One of the escorts has a regular, and he likes to be a little gabby when he's had his drinks. She might have information for you. Hmm. So get this person into a drinking contest. Might be the first time. Or just talk mm -hmm. to the escort. Yeah. Or seduce the guy. <laughs> Zeus just kind of laughs and finishes off his drink, just thinking about it. Mm. Will they appear here anytime soon? Oh yeah, they probably appear here in the next few hours. I really or don't least, want to waste. I, I'm sorry. At least when nightfall comes, which is <sighs> getting longer now that it's the spring. Uh, Can they actually get us north under the water as opposed to over, so we don't get spotted? Based on the rumors I'm hearing, yes. That's interesting. Mm hmm. But we also had that potion we, that somewhere we could go into the east too. We had another angle as well. Uh, out of character, if I pitch that uh, some of us go to the one in the east and some stay here to find out what they can find out, would that be safe to split the party? You guys out? are east. You're in the eastern place you're oh, told so, to go to. So, oh, we are? Okay, never mind. Yeah. Yeah. You, the, the quiet man told you, go east and you'll find a friend, and Zeus appeared, so. Oh, uh, okay. I was wondering. Cause yeah. Zeus, Zeus said he didn't really know, so I was wondering if we were just, we just, something randomly happened in that regard, but okay. Mm. I mean, the bird's got the right idea. You could easily get him into a drinking game and then, you know, try that way. Or you can talk to the escort, but she's, uh, she's busy. Why? What's she doing? Is she feeling the carpet? Yeah, let's put it that way. Eh. Zeus just oh, laughs. So as, 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 much as, I, as much as I don't like the idea of us sitting here waiting for things to come to us, I... I guess that's the only option we have right now. You don't want to be walking outside right now anyway. To be honest, Canary's Perch is the type of place where you want to get in and get out as quickly as possible. Mm. Uh, very well. If that will get our aim goal, then very well. Mm. Quick question. Okay. Did a straightforward good time learn here? No, we, we considered bringing her here. Um, the only risk is that if, if the straightforward good time were to fall into the water, well then... She would have a straightforward bad time uh, <laughs> walking back to shore. Mm. So for now, she is simply requisitioned to the city. She's actually our, I think, no, no, there's others. No, I was just going to say, I think she's the only person who's never trained here, but that's in fact not true. We've had a few people who have not trained here. Hmm. She's doing excellent. Her call in rate is insane now. Who? Sorry. Ah, excellent. Mm -hmm. Can we can we take a quick break? I gotta yeah. pee so this, bad. And get this tea. this is this is where we will take our break as you guys finish off oh, your oh, drinks. Excellent. Zeus Zeus will feed you as well, and this will be a good point put a uh, good place to take a short rest as well if you guys want to. Must be nice. Mm -hmm. All, right, All right, I'm gonna go go hang myself back up on the post. I'll be right back. Yeah, get on the post. Uh, panic during your short rest. Uh, Zeus has a proposition for you. Oh really? <laughs> oh, I do. Do you accept? I mean, I've got to pay him back somehow. That's not implied, but he offers. Eh, like it. <laughs> okay, yes, I need you to roll a constitution saving throw for me. Ah! <laughs> and fuck him. And a charisma check as well. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. All right. All right, here goes constitution. Okay. Natural oh one. My oh my ah! god. Oh god. <laughs> Wrecked him, he damn near killed him. Lord is my, as God is my witness, he's been He might be broken in half. In half. Oh, no. <laughs> I fucking and, love you, Chris. <laughs> and here's my charisma. 
At least he one. puts the smolder now on. One. Here comes the now 19. one. Oh, no, no, listen, dude. listen. Okay. He did it. He did it with a smolder on. He had he the smolder on. He kept it in. Your movement speed is reduced by half. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Um, and you are now fucking terrified for Willow. Um, <laughs> why are you panic is right now? You have advantage on charisma based checks. <laughs> Your next one will have it will have advantage because that charisma save was high. Uh, as the rest of you kind of take the drink, eventually you see panic emerge. Um, Are you sure he's not crawling? <laughs> <laughs> panic's like, panic's like limping. Hey, panic! Oh, got it, yeah. Hey, panic! What are you reading? Got a chair for you right here. Ah, oh, thank you. I think I might need the walker. Was it that rough? No. Oh. Hmm. So what happened? You were gone. While. You were gone for like two hours. What was going on? Oh, let me regale you with the story. It's crazy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Did you guys explore caves? <laughs> yes, oh, we God. did. God damn it. Why did I invite you? <laughs> See, I'm not the only one she says that about. Welcome to the club, Octo. And the call. That is, uh. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you need some ice or something? Oh, I'm, I'll be good. Yeah, he's been well taken care of. For the most oh, oh, fuck yeah, I was. <laughs> Um, as you guys are sitting there, you do hear the front door kind of a uh, bell jingle, and you watch as a triton walks in, a swordfish triton. Mm -hmm. Um, and you would not, I mean, besides the fact that he's a swordfish, like, for you, Zenrio, you see this guy, it's like, whoa, that's a cool triton, you've never seen a mm -hmm. triton like that before. The, re the rest of you guys see Panic's jacket on this <laughs> triton. <laughs> As he comes in and he sits down at a table and one of the waitresses goes over and takes his order. Uh, as Zeus comes out, he kind of walks over. He gives you a free drink, panic. Uh, just kind of checks in on you. He's like, doing okay, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm doing fine. That's your guy, by the way. His name is Pierce. So, yeah, uh, I know. <laughs> He's wearing my jacket. Oh, that's your jacket. Well, uh, good luck. Like I said, drinking game. Good gamble. He's gonna need it. Hey, hey. He kind of kisses you on the forehead. Be nice to my customers, please. I'll try. He kind of pats you on the cheek and goes, see you back in Alavas. And he heads back up the stairs. The Triton sits down. He's got this long pointed nose. <clears throat> I look up. Um, oh, oh, I, I was gonna say, like, are we? I, I stand up from the. I stand up from the table. I motion over to Borky and Panic, and I have them follow me. And I kind of step. I step on Borky's toe. Fuck you! I can't drink you out from under the table. Ah, oh, what the shit, man? What are you doing? I mean, not likely, anyways. Oh, really? You want to try that shit? Let's go right now. I sit next to the guy. The the, the Triton guy. Yes. At the bar. I as, the, as I look to Borky, and I sit, and I, I look to Panic, like, to motion him to go sandwich the guy. Yeah, I'd like to see this. Yeah, this actually looks pretty all right. All right, you want to see gonna this? On? You want to see I this, little know. man? I don't oh. know what's happening, but I'm very excited. My liver is say... the size of you. I'm going to say, you know what? Because Panic's involved, you can use that advantage. Uh, actually, no, don't use your advantage. Uh, task, you instigated it, so do a deception check with advantage, because Borky and everybody else is helping you. Fuck yeah! Yahoo! 18. Okay. As you guys all sit down and get ready, this guy is just, like, kind of leans over to you, Task, and goes, Hey, you're not blue. Mm. I, I look over him and I smirk. Nope. Red is the day I was born. Fiery. Let's go. Hold, hold, hey, hold, hold, whoa, 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 You got a lot of players in this game, uh, uh, you want in? Mind, uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't mind being in. I was just here to visit my lady, but, you know, I, 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 I'm a man. I like to gamble. Tell it to her smiles on me. I, I show him my, my bone die. Oh, do I have those on me anymore? Or those taken away? No, those are taken. Son of a fuck! Okay, hi. <laughs> I'm Task. <laughs> hey. Pierce, and he shakes your hand, his webbed fingers kind of engulfing your entire small draconic arm almost, and shakes you up and down. He's pretty big. 
Oh. Um, Zenrio, he's got a solid like, maybe two feet on you. Um, yeah. He's quite tall. Um, oh, yeah, and his nose sure. is... Yeah, and his nose is huge. So every time he turns, you guys have to kind of like duck each time. <laughs> and he's like, all right, uh, what kind of rules do we have for this drinking game? All right. Well, I look over to I overlook over to Bork and I like instigate this like are we still arguing? I just like what do you say to five drinks? Whoever whoever doesn't pass out from lack of brain power and alcohol poisoning? Oh, let's make it simple. Let's do shots. Very well. Five shots it is. Five, five shots. Sh uh, I can do I can that's do that. That's what we so what we're just gonna get buzzed, is that it? Hmm. We'll see if that uh we'll see if that uh stomach of yours is as big as your brain. Five Let's drinks, see. like bottles? You mean bottles? Yeah, sure. I, I just like snap my finger, I'm just like I'm like looking over at the bartender, just like, come on, we need in on this. Alright, the lady, the human comes back. Uh she kind of uh looks forward and she goes, Um, Zeus said that you guys covered everything and you have a small pool in your tab, so I can cover the drinks for this. Well, Thank you very fantastic. much. Please bring a bottle of whiskey. We start an easy. I will, I will grab shot glasses for you. And she Thank comes you. out. I need um, Task and Borky. You two are the ones who are involved with this contest, right? And our good buddy Pierce here is as well now. Anyone yeah. well, yeah. well, else want in? Well, seeing as I, seeing as I had a, myself a pleasant and even, and I don't want to sour that with any betting. So I'll be, I'll play the mediator here. By the way. Very well. By the way, my name's Ron. Yep. <laughs> nice, to, nice to meet you, Virgil V3. It's uh, That's... Or the South Circadian uh, Blacksmith Guild. Cool. Mm. Uh, makes sense for you to be here with all the trade and things. Yeah, yep. Yeah, come here every so often. It's been a while, though. Mm -hmm. Picked a nice place to... Uh, don't mind me. No one special, Wait, just a cell lay, sword. Way, way Wait. anchor. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. I want right. to. I want to. I want to drink this damn cobalt under the table. Let's drink. Let's do it. All right. So I need Task and Borky to roll Constitution saving throws for me. All right. Here, I'm here going to. Go. I'm going. Wait. I'm going to pour them their shots. I'm going to pour them their shots. I'm going to use prestidigitation to chill both Tasks and Borkies and to heat up his. Oh, oh that's nice. smart. Roll a sleight of hand. Oh, bruh. Yo, rip, man. That's good. Thank you. Hot damn. Mm. He does not notice as you do this. Uh, as you do, you hand off the shots. I'm going to say because of that, uh, Task and Borky have advantage. That five goes to a 17. Borky, roll. Fuck roll, yeah! Roll your constitution saving throw. Okay. With advantage because of Panic's cheating. Because he seems to be very good at that. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Twenty-two. Nice. You needed 22. that. Holy shit! <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> Natural one there. I'm gonna I put it up. My I sniff the whiskey in my nose. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> With disadvantage, he gets a two. <laughs> uh you guys start packing back shots. Zenrio, as you're kind of sitting and watching this, you've seen uh, Triton, you know, get drunk before. You guys have mm -hmm. your own sort of alcohols and things like that. In fact, hey, but I'm not old enough to drink that yet. No, you're not. In fact, you're not even old enough to really be in this current, like, building. If you like nobody that... asks, it's because of my air of maturity. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you watch as this swordfish right and starts packing it back, and then it slows down, and he's kind of like, <laughs> I got right there, guys. friend. Oh, you guys are, you the, do you want to know the greatest thing about who I work for? Oh, what's, what's that? that? This storm giant is like, you know what, assholes? Stop fighting. Can't the land walker like the fish? Can't the fish like the land talker? And I'm like, yeah, I like that. See, I like, I like he kind of like grabs your neck task and kind of pulls you in for like a drunken hug. He's like, I like folks like you. And he starts to stroke you like a cat. I love folks like you. <laughs> It is, your... it is taking task every ounce of him not to press the X button to glass him. Quick question. Is it with the grain of the hair or against the grain of the hair like a cat? With the grain. He's okay. being okay. nice. Copper pets. Uh, He's like, money. You guys, you guys are cool, right? And like, I used to work for Barris, and Barris is an asshole. He's just the biggest. Right? He points to you, Zenrio. Like, Barris is the worst, right? 
Um, I'm sure he'd be cool if you got to know him. Oh, I don't know him. He's like, he's like, he's like a dead fish in the water, except he's alive and he'll kill you. But you guys, you guys are great. And you know, the lady, super, she gave me a super cool jacket. She said she got it from some guys that she's like friends with. And like, it's great. We have all this stuff. And it's super cool, like all the time. Oh, you don't say, friend. Time. Hey, hey, you're looking a little, you're looking a little red in the face there. You getting hot? Want me to take your jacket for you? Oh, I just talked about this jacket and how much I love it. Roll a deception check. Damn it! You beat me to the punch. With, with advantage, because advan with your your night with Zeus. Nice. That's okay. gonna be twenty four. Wow. Only if you put it on, because I bet, bet it looks great on a guy like you. The colors probably match really good. I bet well, it does. Well, that's flattering, mister. Thank you. And I, I disrobe him, and I put on the jacket. <laughs> Sorry about the fish smell. I've been working all day. Like, uh, I, that ain't no oh, thing. Oh, my God. I, the entire day today. Do you know the ladies here? Like, they're just... Yes, they're so nice and sweet and like just super cool. Did you see the lionfish lady? Did you say Zatrina? He points to you, Zenrio. Did you see her? No, I haven't. No, where is she? she? She's up. You gotta see her. She's like, she's like the jewel, like just the pearl of the sea. She's beautiful. She's yeah. the fins. The fins are amazing. I bet and she's like, super hella. Oh, she's so hella. She's like. The Hellenist, like our... money, real quick, because I'm, yeah. I'm, keep, I'm keeping watch to make sure we don't get uh stabbed or robbed. Is anything weird going on? No, he's just slammered. Like, well, he's I mean, slammed. I mean, I mean, around us. No, it's 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 still empty. This guy has come in before nightfall is actually. I look, uh, I, I look yeah. over. To, I look over to panic, and I I want to like whisper to him, "Should we press on, or do you think he's done?" Uh I just like my work is just so hard. Like it shouldn't be hard. I just stand fucking around all the time. But it's like yikes, right? You do work. Who do you work for? And he like kind of grabs your face. He lets go of you, Task, and kind of just grabs your face, Forky. Who do you work? You're an orc, so I assume you work for the fishers or for the storm. I know these days. Never... These different orcs. I'm from far away. I run the orc. I'm actually uh, just a bit of a freelancer. I'm here. I was here with my. F I was here. I was here to to meet a lady. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You are you have a very nice shade of green. Thank thank you. I grew. I mm -hmm. I, it's, I did it myself. Oh, he takes a, he takes another shot, even though he really shouldn't. Let's see. Oh god, he's gonna get even tough. He's gonna start gabbing even more. Um. So you guys, do, do, you guys... Do, we have to do, a, do we have to do a test too? No, I just rolled to see if he would actually like be conscious test enough three. to know to stop talking, but he's not. He rolled a three and he's going to keep talking. <laughs> um, he just kind of looks and goes, so I like, this is, so she's pretty, right? Right? Blurry orange guy. Just say yes. Just say yes. Yeah. 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 So she's super, don't even try. She's super in, <laughs> impressed with me right now. Cause like, we have this thing. Okay. Like not oh, us, yeah. but like, but like, uh, the storm's convergence has this thing. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. And like the humans, like the fishers, the guy, the guys who hate fish, mm. they super want it. Like, mm. super no. want it. Well, what is this thing though? Well, I have to know. <laughs> Roll a charisma check task as you do that, as you seem invested. The save on this, I have to roll to see how. Okay. Uh, charisma check or a. Just a charisma check, yeah, to see how charming you are. And oh, this please. Not be very hard. No. Yeah, no, you did, because you got a six, so you're good. <laughs> um, As he's like looking at you, he like blinks, and you see the gear, the single gear in this, like this swordfish <laughs> triton's head going. By the way, the entire the entire time he's talking, all of you have to dodge his nose as it's like being whipped around like a. Blade. Oh Jesus! <laughs> yeah, it's like a, like it's almost as big as his body is. Um, and as he's kind of turns and looks to you, you see the one single cog in his brain being like, "Hey, don't tell company secrets." But then the drunken part is like, "Tell him everything." <laughs> um, and he looks and he's like, "It's a machine." 
<gasps> really now what what's what sort of machine what is it what it's, is it it's a machine that can go underwater he like smacks the table and looks at you guys like he's so cool like i, I look like i'm just like blown out of the water like no what yeah. a machine that go do like people ride in it or yeah is it like... yeah like we're, we're not, i'm not allowed to like go in and touch it because it's super like, hey we're expensive. all friends here ain't we i know oh, i'm just saying my, my boss my my boss doesn't let me go in and look at it so basically from what i hear it's like old dwarf technology <laughs> like soup like you, you know a little short the people who have beards yeah yeah they, they're, they're like mad at you like all the time um yeah so like it's like super old dwarves made it and it's like you can go inside of it and it like goes underwater and like you guys can breathe air right i mean yeah you could breathe air you're right you're right you're right you're right you're, right. you're breathing Except air I, yeah Except that's true friend uh, it's true you're right. yeah, that, this, yeah. this air is great <gasps> yeah, it's so I mean, it could be better, but it's pretty good. So, like, in this thing, there's air. And so it's like the humans super want it because there's air in there. And then they can be underwater and have air. So, like, yeah. Hey, hey like, but is there, like, I don't know if you know this, since you, like, work with, with the people who are, like, around this. Do they, like, have ways for you to ride in it? Oh, no. It totally belongs to, to the Storm Convergence leader. We just guard it. Uh, it's like a warehouse at the seventh dock on the western side between the crab salesman, the fishing rod salesman, and the guy who chops up hagfish all day. Like, he gives you exactly the location. Sick. And he, like, he hiccups and goes, oh, but don't tell anybody about that, okay? No, of course It'll never, be our never. little secret. Cross our hearts. You rolled a ten. He's going to keep fucking talking. <laughs> and, like... So we like keep two guards because we don't want people to know that it's there, right? Like we don't want people to know that there's something big there. No, why would like, you? So like, don't tell anyone because if more people know, we have to put more guards there. So it's like, gotcha, like we... like friends of yours or something. Did... Should like... you be telling us this? I mean, I didn't want you to get in trouble. Step on fucking Zenrio's foot! Ow! <laughs> okay. uh, Zenrio, roll a roll a charisma check for me. The straight charisma check. Sixteen. Okay. Just he looks, he kind of narrows numbers. his eyes and he turns and like, uh, Borky, you kind of duck underneath his nose as he turns and looks at Zenry and goes, I mean, you guys are hanging out with each other, so you guys are obviously like, like if not close to Storm's Convergence, because that's like the people who like the fish and they know the, 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 um, I don't feel, I don't feel so good. And he like leans over and immediately starts vomiting. Oh, uh, uh, panic, make a dexterity saving throw, I guess. Great. <laughs> one, nah, one, nah, one, nah, one, nah. Shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> yeah, you managed, to, <laughs> you, managed to, you managed to like duck out of the way as he like throws up and he's like, uh, and then thump, falls over, passing out. The waitress comes out and goes, oh my gosh, and like goes to tend to him, leaving the rest of you guys kind of standing there. Hank adjusts his jacket. But if your jacket's here, then maybe some of our other stuff is actually here too. Yeah, it's possible. I mean, it seemed like they were give, they were giving this out. I mean, we got this from some random mook for a fucking gang. I don't know where all of our other stuff might be. What if we did a free magical item cleaning service? <laughs> I don't, I don't, then don't everybody would give us their magic items, Bingo. and then we could clean them, it's, and then give them back. It's oh, right, right, no one should keep them, though. I think... Gentlemen... I look, we've got priorities anyway. Like we can track down our magical items later. We have a man down. Yeah, that's right. No, we gotta no. find alright, so we now have the location, but now what are right. we gonna do? You know what we should do? Just to make sure he we should take him to the ladies' room. The one he hired. And she could just like, I don't know, just bob his back or whatever whatever sex is. Take his money for all I care. Yeah, you no. can take his money. Yeah, I actually, uh, Greckles will actually like how how. Greckles has already taken the, the money. Um, yeah. I mean, I thought we were doing that. Roll, like, roll a slight, roll a slight of hand because there's a waitress right there who's kind of like banning him with like a fan. 
Mm -hmm. may, may I distract him? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm, I'm eyeing panic really quick. Okay. Sure. Like, eh, eh, eh. Well, excuse me, ma'am. Uh, he, oh, well, this is not, uh, no. not to you, but, you know, huh? Yeah, don't, don't worry. He's, he's a friend of ours. Hey, can I ask you something? May I, I, like, put a hand on her back? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not for hire right now. No, 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 no. Is there, is there anywhere we can, like, put him, or we can, like, book a room, to, you know, like, let him rest off, you know, he's, he's a little he, bit of a, you know. As soon did. as she turns her face. Drinks like yeah. a fish. Go, go ahead, yeah, with advantage. Wow. Oh god. Okay. Wow, Ooh. that was that was a one and a two roll. She notices. She kind of turns and goes, "Hey, get out!" And she like immediately starts smacking you with the fan. Uh, Greckles, thief, get out! Yeah, get and out of here, bird. You get you get chased out of the door. Oh, oh the nerve of some people! Panic. You can make a sleight of hand with advantage as she chases him out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Twelve. And she gets an eight, so she fails. You just kind of, as she's like chasing Greckles out, and like Greckles, you kind of hide underneath the table, and then run out the door. Um, <laughs> <laughs> kind of like, now you know what it feels to be like Scarbles. Um, <laughs> panic! You just quickly just—it's so easy. You just reach in, you grab a small pouch of gold, and you also find a key. Ooh! Yes! You pocket that as well. And do I? Also... Do I see him do that? Uh, roll a perception. Oh, no. Nope. Nope. No. No. I was gonna leave a note. Uh, it's gonna be... <laughs> I was gonna say, sorry, we stole from you, but... Uh, uh oh. you have 30 gold pieces to your name. Um, Sweet. Borky quickly, uh, picks up the guy. Where's his room? Oh, he booked a room with, uh, Zerlina up on the second floor. Okay, Do you want us to just, just oh. leave him there, or...? Yeah, like he, he, I, mean, he... I could get, I could get Zeus to carry him to his No, room. I got him right oh. now. Borky carries him upstairs. Okay. Zeus has, had, Zeus has had a long, long day. Uh, you uh, don't... She looks at you, like, blinks and goes, you really don't know him. <laughs> oh, I think I know him pretty well. I'll follow Borky upstairs. Task, right. ten, uh, task, which room is it? How many rooms are there upstairs? Uh, it's room number five, is what she tells you. Okay, one, uh, and two, there are ten three, rooms upstairs. Four, five. Can you find five? I, I escort him to the proper room. I knock okay. on the door with my foot. <laughs> okay, you hear you hear a water gurgling noise, which you know is Aquin, but you guys don't speak Aquin, so. Borky opens the door and just like just kind of like just awkwardly just puts him on the puts him on the bed. Okay, as you open up the door, you see kind of sitting uh, at a vanity a very beautiful, almost mermaid-esque uh, triton, lionfish triton, with all these various. Uh, luminescent sort of stripes, almost twinkling like pearls. And she mm. kind of turns and looks and then sees the, the, the swordfish triton like, uh, like on her side. And she's like visibly trying to smile, but at the same time is like, oh boy. Tass Tas pantomimes that he drank too much. She nods uh, and then points towards the bed. Uh, <laughs> and as you guys put him in the bed, she just lovingly just kind of tucks him in gives him a glass of water and goes back to the vanity and kind of goes back to kind of just like cleaning her scales, kind of just letting him sleep it out. It's free money for her, so it doesn't matter. Borky closes the door and just does a slight salute. We are such nice people while being bad people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I, I look at I looked at I looked at Borky and I just like pat him on the I pat him on like the scope. Thanks for playing along. I did beat you though, I'm pretty sure I did right in game now. Eh, sure. Whatever. Oh, come what's, on. What's come going on? Where's the fire running? panic? Where's Just the fire general, panic? Uh, actually, the first thing you notice, Greg, is the moment you step outside, this place is gorgeous at night. Mm. Every different bobbing like light in the, in the ocean, reflecting off the ocean surface, is absolutely gorgeous. Um, there's not a lot of people outside, and you get the sense that's probably intentional. Um, given mm. given the sort of rivalry nature of the various peoples here, it makes probably a lot of sense that there's not a lot of people out. The only person you see out is a uh, a young woman actually, uh, who's currently carrying uh, a bunch of uh, gear. Roll a knowledge nature? Ooh. Question mark. Ooh, that's a twenty. Oh wow, uh, she's going deep sea lobster hunting. 
Um, you know, there's people out there who will do it by hand. They'll just jive into the water and like just explore the rocks and stuff and basically just get lobsters by hand and sell them for a huge price. Yeah. And she's the only one. She's the only one. She looks like she doesn't, she doesn't, she's got the sort of attitude where people probably don't approach her too often. Um, cause she's like decked out in gear and she's just making her way to the ocean side. Like she doesn't even pay you any mind whatsoever. But she's like the only worker you see out at the moment. Everybody else appears to have gone indoors. You do see a few people kind of smoking uh, pipes and things on the edges of like the bows of ships. But beyond are, that, are there any? Is there any congregation of of uh, Triton and human? No, you don't see any. You just see like Damn. people in their respective homes. You don't see anybody. Yeah. Uh, the rest of you guys, do you emerge? Yeah, now that we're done. Uh, yeah, we're yeah, we're probably just there. Okay. So you guys emerged. Do you guys want to make your way to the directions you were given? Yes. Okay. Sure thing. Do we, hey, do I we got the... So we got, got this key. Oh, yeah, we got the key from, from Pierce, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you did. Oh, I'm glad you guys were able to pocket it. Do we actually know how to get to where we're going? He told us. Oh, yeah, he... From he... from from the current location that we're at? Because he just told us, yeah. like... He told us 7th Oak West Side. Okay. I wasn't sure if we actually knew how to get there. He literally, like, I, I didn't want to do the whole thing. He literally mm -hmm. gave you, like, GPS step-by-step instructions. <laughs> oh, okay. Because he, Google, he, he Google maps us. He, he spilled his guts, literally. He literally was so drunk, and he was rolling so terribly that he basically spilled everything. All right, though, guys. <laughs> just, 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 fortuitous. just a heads up. It's really unusually quiet. Hmm. Hey. Hello! <laughs> Z? <laughs> what? Z, I swear, just please not right now. Uh, okay. Hello. Unless you want unless you want to end up like one of those hagfish over there. What, all covered in slime? No, cut in half. I'm gonna roll a perception no, check. I don't want that. Nat 20. Nat 20. Natural baby. 20. You are not being followed. You get the sense that whatever Zeus Zeus's presence here kind of cleared you guys of suspicious activity. Um, there is no one in this current area who is, who is, besides being, like, kind of like, oh, here are these, who are these schmucks? No one's following you for any nefarious purpose. Well, that's right, about good. to change. <clears throat> well, let's just head there, act natural, uh, see if we can, see if we can get to that, uh, worst, 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 worst case scenario, couldn't we just tell them exactly what we want? We just want safe, we want passage underwater? No, because this is like one of a kind. This these is also, guys, this these, is also well hidden. These guys are also working for the United Clergy of Orin, technically. That, these guys. That's yeah, that's fair. Yeah, Fuck they're it. the allies of them. All right, fair. And there would be no, there would probably be no chance in hell we could try to pass ourselves off as new joining members of All right. the Forms <laughs> Convergence. No, no. <laughs> no. Point at his horns. Hmm. Hey, man, let it not be. Let it not be said that Tast. <laughs> when when we start getting close, I would like to scope out the place. For sure. We'll get to that, but now we're going to jump back to Remy. Cool. Yay. Uh, Hi, Remy. Hi. <laughs> uh, <mercy. laughs> it's cold. Mm. You watch as fires are doused. And people retreat into their tents. Some paladins are laughing. Some clerics are kind of playing games in the dirt. And there's a silence that creeps over the camp as the darkness creeps and crawls and covers you. And then suddenly you feel deep down inside. You get healed for 10 hit points. More than I had before. And as your <laughs> eyes kind of blink open, you see the red cleric, Audrey, standing in yeah. front of you. You. Why are you here? Why can't you just do what they want? Because She's not I, looking at you. She's just looking at the ground. Because I don't believe in what they want. 
roll an insight check on her. Okay. Uh, I'm good at those. With advantage. I will give oh. you advantage on this. Bless your heart, Monty. Mm -hmm. 20, soft. When she's saying, why can't you do what they want? She's not talking to you. She's never been talking to you. She's been talking to herself. Oh, shit. Ah! Mmm! Mmm! She shoves an apple in your mouth. Like, a, just a cook! Like, shoves Me? an apple into your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't birds have gizzards? Don't they have gizzards? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Should I slice? She pops it out of your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'll slice it. I'll slice it. I'll slice it. She pulls out a dagger. She starts to starts to cut it up, and she just kind of feeds you slices of it. You confuse it's... me. Why? Is... Just, just, just shut up. Just shut up and eat the fuck. Just eat the apple. Just eat the. She oh. shoves the apple. She almost said a swear. <laughs> she almost said a stonk word. Oh. <laughs> Let Audrey say heck. <laughs> Here's some water. Here's some water. She kind of <laughs> opens up your beak and starts pouring water in. <sighs> and as she's doing that, you hear a kong noise against her head as she falls forward into the mud. <gasps> and you see Kiwi holding a frying pan. <laughs> yes! Remy! Yo, help. Remy! Yeah. Remy! Kiwi. It's me, Kiwi! Kiwi. <laughs> I stopped her from torturing you! <laughs> I, I imagine, I imagine, I imagine this small Kiwi Kenku holding a frying pan looking terrified and then suddenly this Smash Brothers intro, boom, Kiwi joins the battle! <laughs> Remy, Remy, hold on, I'll get you out. He picks up her dagger off of the ground. She's lying no, face down no, in the mud. No, Kiwi, no, 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 I got you, I got you, mate, I got you. He cuts Why? you free. Why are you like this? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, Remy. I was hiding in the box the entire time, so they couldn't find me. Because my philosophy, the Kiwi philosophy, is those who run away live to fight another day. And I lived, and I saw you being beaten up, but I'm here to save you, and I saved you from her. Kiwi. She was horrendously Kiwi. torturing you. Kiwi. Yes. Kiwi. She was. Yes. She was feeding me food. Oh bloody hell! <laughs> <laughs> Drops the frying pan and looks down, horrified. Kiwi, where did you get a frying pan? I stole it. <laughs> Kiwi, I'm dying. I don't have the willpower to tell you how many things are wrong with what you just did. I, I, I lack the mental capacity to process things. Could you? Oh dear. We need to. We need... God, we need to go. We need to yeah, get out of here. We need to take the, the thing you knocked out, please. <laughs> Do I take her? Yes. But she's evil. You, oh, you poor child. You don't know what good and evil is. I mean, I. Yeah, no, you're right. That's fair. He kind of like goes and picks her up. <laughs> kind of like me. loads her up on the shoulder. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. The going, orcs. Man? I distracted them with food. That's actually very. Very smart. Where are we right. going? Where are we I going? just, oh, there was a whole cake and I just put it and the orcs are just eating it now. You'll have to give me a minute. I think my lung is collapsed. Well, come on, let's go. And he kind of uh, helps you. Mark. Uh, As you guys leave the entrance of this encampment, uh, you guys look side to side and you see a bunch of orcs. It's just like, what, but why is it here? The other orc goes, maybe it's a cake fairy. <laughs> the other one slaps and goes, cake fairies don't exist. Let me have my dreams! And they're just kind of arguing. Oh god, it's Borky and Stereo. <laughs> oh. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go! And you guys immediately take off into the brush. A gaggle okay. of Borkies. Alrighty. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, is, is the scene, is that, is that the scene? Yeah, you guys take off into the woods. Fuck! That's, that, that's fuck? Just, just so great. I'm just so happy. Oh, just, yeah. Let's go, just accept it. It happens. No what just happened? <laughs> Why? What is this timeline? <laughs> That's the best timeline. I can't. I can't. You know, Kurt, I'm going to do this out of character. Uh, you know when Borky was like in the hole of the ship and like the boxes were all sliding? Yeah. Kiwi was in one of those. I as fucking you were going knew it. Up. I fucking knew it. <laughs> yeah. That oh, son of a bitch, that cowardly bastard. <laughs> 
Um, ah. Meanwhile, meanwhile, uh, the rest of you, I'm going to give you a visual reference. You guys managed to make your way over the docks, eventually making your way onto one such boat, which kind of bobs and floats side to side, and you get your eyes on this warehouse. <clears throat> on the western side of is the dock. Is this the warehouse? That is the warehouse. There's a big kind of building, kind of ramshackle building built on top of this large, what looks like some sort of like um, fishing vessel boat, like very open. Uh, the mast has been sawed, uh, sawed away. You just see a lot of stuff has been flattened, almost like ground in a way. <clears throat> and you currently see uh, four kind of rotating guards uh, of, of various different uh, races. This is the tokens are currently being used, but they are various different races. Two Triton, one human, and a dwarf. Mm. Mm. Hey, Monty, I see that box filled with bows and arrows. That is not a act. That's just a prop. I'm sorry. It doesn't really. It's not. Oh, really I'm, I'm I am sad now. Now I am sad. That? Oh, yeah. That's just a that's just a that's just a vendor. profound sadness. <sighs> anyway. Well, I'd love to do something here, gentlemen, but man, if one of them sees through it, the whole jig is up. So why don't the rest of us hide then? Well, wait. What if like we made like a distraction? Oh, that's the idea. That's good. That's good. Yeah. And then Zenrio uses uh prestidigitation to make like the most pathetic puff of smoke ever. Like, ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, destruction. Oh, so you're saying set fire to the place then? Oh, you're a bad boy, Zen. Wait, no, did I say that? Uh, yes, you did. Okay, you said fire to the place. It's not well, a distraction. It's like here. it'll draw attention as well to everybody. Hey, yeah, it would. I'm going to roll a stealth. Okay. Yeah, that would be a good thing to do, actually. 27. Nice. You just, you just blend in. 24. Nice. You also completely blend into the shadows. Borky slaps him against a wall. 15. Okay. You slap him Hand against it. the mask. What Panic, uh, plays it cool. Panic hobbles over because oh, you have mm. that speed reduction. Mm. Mm. You... Stealth? Yes, yeah, stealth. Oh, so, eight. oh eight. my god. Money. <laughs> are those are to sixty feet to the west, are those actual sails? Hold hold on here because Zenrio unfortunately may have oh, good. recovered. Oh good. One of the uh, guards kind of hears a, a splashing noise as Zenrio, you kind of like, go, trying to find a hiding space, you knock over uh, what looks like a, some sort of fish hook into the water. Ah, oops! I mean, oops. Uh, one of them kind of looks over and is like, I'm going to check that out, and just psh, dives into the water. Let him come to us. <laughs> I want, this... I want, to, I, I, I'm just like, I, I'm this... ready. This is gonna get real Looney Tunes real quick. Oh One fuck yeah, it is. Oh, I already know what wacky. I already know what we should do. Well, ah, uh, okay. I can't play the game. Roll, I have to... roll a perception. Uh, Greckles, panic, or Zenrio. Oh, I got it. Or all of uh, you guys. Okay. This is perception. You said perception. Yeah. Oh, fourteen. Natural twenty. Oh, Oops, sorry. Oh, Wrong. Yeah, that was beautiful. persuasion. They look the same. There's perception. <laughs> Seven. Seven. You are like, oh, that fish hook's totally gone. <laughs> oh, damn, I lost somebody's fish hook. Oh, I feel so bad. Uh, Panic, you watch as you see. What is this guy? He's also a Triton. So he's a specific fish as well. One second. It's very important to me that you guys know what type of fish they are. <laughs> uh, oh, he's a blobfish. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm gonna go check it out. I hope nobody makes fun of me. <laughs> oh, profound sadness. His name is his name is amazing too. Um, <laughs> Wait, his name is amazing? No, his name is Bub. Oh, yeah. I thought it was amazing. All right, a boy Bub. Hey guys, it's me, Bub. Don't touch my chicken wings. <laughs> uh, panic! As you're looking down into the water, you see a fleshy white form beginning to reach the surface. Cool. Uh, you are able to indicate this to your companions. What do you guys want to do as he reaches the surface? Do we have something we can just Can I grab him, him by the mouth with my hand and pull him up? Uh... If, if, Borky, if Borky can pin him down, we'll just bludgeon him. Just... <laughs> <laughs> fucking, un fucking Undertaker style just yanks him up. Okay, yeah, if you want to do that, uh, Borky, you totally can. Uh, I'm just going to move you over into position. Panic alerts you and lets you know that he's coming. Uh, and as he does, he begins to climb up the side of the ship. We'll show him to you here now. 
he begins to kind of slop up the ship, and as he emerges, his face immediately goes down into that droopy blobfish face. <laughs> Poor as he lad. makes his way up. He's not pretty. Uh, athletics. Oh, that one! No! Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Uh, I'm going to roll immediately. <laughs> oh, no! no. Oh, fuck's sake! Just hold on, hold on. Dude. Just roll initiative. This is just for turns, it's not for combat. 13. Just so everyone doesn't do a thousand things at once. 22. Whoa. Sure. 21. Computer's acting real fucky, but I got a nine. Oh, I, had, I had such an easy way to handle this. His, I gotta roll for him. He's gonna roll for I'm damage. glad I'm not the only one who fucked up tonight. Alright, there I he have is. A, I have a spell that can solve this entire situation. Okay, we have... If you guys want to forego turns for someone else, you can. It'll just hey, can we give me just a second? Sure. My recorder is acting up. Oh, no. Uh, it's still recording. It's just being really choppy at the moment. I don't uh, know what's would, calling it. Would you like to resync? If you re reset? I, I... I mean, it's still recording. It's just... The, the program itself is like sur like stuttering. I don't oh, know weird. what's I don't know what that's gonna do to the audio, <laughs> and it just stopped responding. Okay, well, well let's uh, we'll, um, real quick. Try and try and save the file. I'm writing down the initiative order, so now's the time to yep. do some fixes. Thank you again, everyone, for hanging out here tonight. This has been a lot of fun. And then we have panic. And then we have. We are experiencing technical difficulties. Will we be right back to this episode of the Unexpectables? <laughs> The important takeaway is Keeley will live. Yes, indeed. I mean, he uh, might depend. Good, good old Kiwi. We're just uh, like a ragtag party of stragglers now. Hey, we've got, got the heretic was... cleric, we've got the runaway rogue, and we've got the noble in tatters. Hey, um... All right, I'm going to pause my recording. Uh, I'm going to check to see if it's choppy at all. Should we stop as well? No. No, we no, can just, we can just, just sync back. Yeah, we can okay. just sync back up. Uh, f oh, God damn it. Okay. Because did you stop I, your recording? I I I fucking I stopped it so I could resync along with it. I was making it into two parts. Oh, you know, well, that's fine. Okay, that's that's fine. That'll we'll, be fine. We will we will. It's fine. Like, in the future, we don't need to do that though. Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> Just letting us know where you're recording there. It is not choppy, so I'm going to go ahead and start recording. But no, 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 because my fucking thing is not going, god damn it. All right. Huh? Oh, no, Z Zito's got to get his thing going now. Oh, okay, okay. It's all good. Hi, guys, by the way. I'll distract you. It's all good. They're going to handle that. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm back. Everything's I'm back. fine. All right. There we go. Don't worry. See, look Everybody. at that. Hi again, Everybody's Austin. Everybody's recording? Alrighty. Hi, Austin. Yes. Hi again, Austin. Alrighty. Hello again, Austin. Hi, uh, wait. Hang on. Ugh. Oh, <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> Alright, you know what? It, 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 it didn't sound choppy, so I'm just going to keep going with it. Hi, Austin. Right. You're good. Hi, Austin. Hi, Austin. Austin. Alright. Goodbye, Austin. Three, oh. two, one, sink. 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 Three, two, one, sink. 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 Three, two, one, sink. 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 Now, on the last time we were where we were just recently, Borky so, fucked up. So, Borky fucked up. Uh, but, Panic, Greckles, and Zenrio, uh, because you guys were at the ready task, unfortunately, you don't have the right angle to get anything done, unfortunately. Cool. Um, that will put him out of place. Now, I will say this. Zenrio, do you want to do what you think you want to do? Because you do have a chance as a reaction here. Um... Yes. Well, okay, I don't go, know do, if it's do, not do, thinking about the situation. Just do it. Just do it. Just go for it, man. Go for it. Literally, can I just go do it? Yeah, man. Sure. Okay. Yeah. I'm you're, gonna. You're, you're, this is fun. This is fun. Can I move over in front of the two guards here? In in front of the, like. Oh, I thought you were referring to the guy who just popped out of the water. No, I was gonna take make sure that the other ones were not a problem. Oh, that's okay. smart. Okay. I, like, I like that. All right. Yeah, you could move forward if you'd like. I would like to do that and then cast a twin suggestion on both of them. Okay. Whoa. What's the saving throw on that? That is wisdom, and the difficulty class is 16. Okay. Nice. Wisdom, 16. That is plus 
That's a 10, so the first one it fails. <clears throat> and then the human, that's even worse. They both fail. What do you suggest that they do? Hey, you know what would be really cool? Going to the opposite side of the city. <laughs> okay. It's a great uh, idea. One of them, what, the, uh, the, the triton, who's a pufferfish, turns over to the human and goes, Hey, Darby. Yeah, Spike. We should go to the other side of the city, man. Yeah, Spike, that sounds great. And they just take each other's hand and they just go off. Do they skip? <laughs> yeah, they skip and they just leave. <laughs> okay, bye. Uh, at this point, uh, your 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 restraint has failed. Greckles, immediately you can do something. What do you want to do? What is what is his exact what is this guy's exact positioning? Uh, he like... is currently climbing up the boat and he has like swatted away uh, Borky's hand as Borky has tried to grab him because he's very slippery. <laughs> yep, that exactly. Could I? Oh God! Since he, I don't. Did he? Did he? Does he notice me? Like uh, during this whole encounter, you since see... he's been. He sees Borky right now, and he's kind of like, oh, like wide face, looking at Borky. Oh! At I wanna, I wanna like club him in the back of the head with either the wood part of the hook or the back side of the dagger to try and knock him out. There's a paddle nearby. I'll let you use a paddle if oh, you want. Oh, that'd be lovely. And would, <laughs> yeah. I, would I get, would I get sneak attack damage because he has? not Yes, yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> oh yes, please. Okay, so one, two, three, four, D six. It's just use the uh, use the uh, the the item you have right now in your inventory. We'll just play off of that. Okay. Technically, uh, this is an improvised weapon, but this I, is something that I love I, it, so. I I don't actually have it in my inventory. You never. Oh gave me wait a minute. Oh, it was a dagger. It was a dagger. Oh okay okay. Ha hang on, I just realized something. What? I have to roll a d20. Oh, oh. that's right, you do. Roll it was a shit. Oh, we're fine. You're good. You're good. <laughs> it's okay. Everything's fine. <laughs> okay. Roll okay. it. Roll it twice. You <laughs> casted two spells. What? Roll oh, it twice. No. You you two in casted. You two casted. Oh, okay, yeah. You're old, you're old a second time. Okay. Okay, you're good. Fine. Uh, that hits. Uh, you managed All to right. get him. So you ignore sp ignore the acid and then. Six. Boosh. Thirteen. That's okay. uh nineteen. Oh, this poor guy has the least amount of health out of all his friends. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's still awake and he's still up and he's like, <laughs> like kind of. He hasn't had his turn yet to call for help. Um, that brings us to task. It is now your turn. Okay, I don't have a good position to hit this guy, do I? Uh, you also have a paddle in your hand. <laughs> you can step through us. We're, we're not gonna stop. Oh, yeah, so I'm gonna just slide underneath panic and just whack him in the head with the fucking this paddle. Looney Tune. This, okay. is, this is Looney Tune. This is just paddles hitting the guy from off screen. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> roll, roll the, uh, roll the, yeah, the trident. Uh, unfortunately, as you swing, you hit the side of the ship. Don't I have two like, hats? Yeah, you do have two hats. He's like, Bruh! like he's kind of like getting kind of overwhelmed now. Uh, unfortunately, you swing again. He grabs the paddle, and you guys are kind of having this this tug of war. Fucking rolls off his skin. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> it's a very smooth. Bor smooth Borky's kind of got his hands up, like, oh, he's so gross. Ugh. Oh my god. Borky, <laughs> Borky I actually mis mixed up your guys' turns. Borky, it is now your turn. Punch him. Oh, he's he so gross. Something. Borky just punches him in the face. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, roll a d20 plus your strength modifier. That'll be a d20, d20 plus five. Zito, Zito, it's the Rocco's My Life episode. What do I do? Oh, uh, <laughs> punch him. <laughs> 16 damage. 16. That That's the hit. Uh, yeah. Your damage will be 1d4 plus your strength. So roll 1d4. Okay, 1d4. I do have unarmed attack, though, too. Yeah, that's why you get 1d4 instead of a 1d2. 1d4 plus, what was it again? 4? Your strength, so 1d4 plus 5. Yeah, buddy. Okay, I and... I hope this will be a 9. <laughs> yeah, nice. got it, baby! Nice. 9! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys watch you Borky. You clocked him. You grab him. You grab him by the legs. Bork, you grab Borky by the legs, panic. And you watch his Borky's <clears throat> fist and elbow sink, like, 20 feet into this blobfish. Like, his entire arm disappears. <laughs> 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 Oh, I, I imagine in slow motion as the fist sinks deeper, Panic's jaw goes lower. <laughs> Borky's face slowly becomes one of those open mouth teeth clenched smiles. Stop, hit something, please. I'm assuming this is non-lethal, yes? Yes, it's non-lethal. Okay, he passes out and lands into the water. Oh! oh. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> He's bobbing in the water. Oh. The other uh, is now task you had your turn the other guard now is like hearing the commotion of his friends being like let's just go away 
uh, runs around the side of the dwarf, and he's just like, "Hey, what?" For for the what? record, uh, suggestion lasts for eight hours. So. <laughs> <laughs> Those we're two fun. are gonna go on a date. It's gonna be. They fun. are. It's so gonna be really. Cute. They're just sitting there on the end of end of a dock with their kind of their legs kicking back and forth, both with yeah, two, like, two drinks. Yeah, holding each other's hands. Eight yeah. hours hey, what's later. Cool? Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Spike and Darby, the ultimate romance. Mm -hmm. Um, the one guard like kind of turns around the corner and sees you, Zenrio, and he goes, "Oi, what you?" And he is going to throw a javelin at you. Oh, well, not cool. Or actually, it's a harpoon. He's got a harpoon too. Oh boy, that's definitely gonna hit. That's gonna be a twenty to hit you. Oh. Yeah, that'll hit me. Uh, let me grab something real fast here. Oh, 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 oh. I just gotta double check the harpoon rules. It's got so many melodies. Bam 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 bam. Just, just now I just see us. Oh, it's just, it's just, just an animation. Us constantly hitting it with everything we have, <laughs> except the kid. And then Borky clocks. So, so, it's, so it's like one of those old-fashioned, like, fight clouds? Yep. <laughs> it's really what happened. It's... Uh, okay. I actually fell into a fight cloud in real life once. Oh. <laughs> I was at a wrestling event, and a fight broke out right with a security guard, and... You take, you take uh, seven points of piercing damage. Ow. And oh. I need to make a strength saving throw for me. Oh, that, I'm... Uh, Eleven. <laughs> no, you get dragged. Uh, I believe it is. How far do you get dragged? Uh, this one is not a big one, so that's gonna be ten feet. You get dragged ten feet. All right. Which you basically you fall into the water. You get yanked into the water, and immediately your head crashes into the boat. You are underwater currently. Your oh. nose begins to bleed as you crash into the boat. Mm -hmm. uh, the dwarf now is kind of reeling in this line that he's got. <clears throat> That will bring us to panic. It is now your turn. So is my speed reduced by half, or is it reduced by ten? I forgot. It's reduced by half. So you have fifty uh, feet of movement. Walking with your ankles. Or will panic limps. <laughs> panic limps his way over here, and he's like, "Huh, my uh, precious boy." <laughs> 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 Have you seen my son? <laughs> Roll a deception check. <laughs> I look very good because I'm a team. <laughs> They'll probably uh, want to kill you on side, bro. It's going to be a natural 20. Natural yeah! 20. Wow. As I, as I, I've oh. got the butt, I've got the butt sex limps. I'm holding my hip. I'm just sucking in my lips. Have you seen my son? <laughs> The dwarf stops and goes, oh, bloody hell. Oh, no! He just, what, like, looks What have you done to my boy? <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else that takes your action to do? Do you do anything else on your turn? <laughs> he lets go of the rope, by the way. He totally lets go of it. As his reaction, he just wow. drops the rope. Like, I'm just like, oh. young man, could you come over here? I've lost my son. Uh, Zenrio, it's now your turn. You're underwater. A few minnows are biting at your 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 cheeks there a little bit. Kind of curious uh, uh, about you. Oh, uh, uh, get away! Uh. I mean, being underwater is no big deal for me. But the yeah. harpoon in my stomach is. Uh, yeah, it's currently slack though. Like the pain of being yanked is now long, now gone. Sure. You don't, know, you don't know why, but it is. Um, can I like poke my head up above the water? Yeah, you you kind of poke your head. You kind of push the boat out of your way a little bit. It's light enough that you can kind of move it. Uh huh. Uh, what do I see? You currently see the side of a boat. You cannot see the person of, uh, on the boat. Uh, it's okay. about five feet off of the water, and you're currently just a head bobbing on the surface of the water, so the angle is not advantageous. You do, uh, you do hear panic, talking like an old man for some my, reason. My son, he seems to have gone missing. I heard some splashing. Do you know? <laughs> um, I didn't know you had a son. Huh? I was, I can hear him still. <laughs> uh, roll up the section check again, panic with disadvantage this time. Double nat 20, come on, baby. This is the stupidest thing. Oh, Jesus. Oh, what? I, I, what? I rolled, I rolled Thir twice. Thir by thir 13 is what you got on that. Oh, God, the other one was yeah. 24, 25. 
okay. He he like the dwarf kind of says, wait a second, Zenrio, what are you doing? Um You have movement, you can move. Uh can I pull the harpoon out out of me? I'll make that a yeah, you can do that as like a bonus action if you'd like. Yeah, can I like pull the rope? Wait, is he He is let he go of it. He let no, go he of let, it. He let go of it, yeah. I'm gonna pull the rope away from it. Like <laughs> You kind of reel in the rope as your bonus action, and the dwarf yeah. goes, I, and he kind of reaches to grab it, but it's already slipped off, and you're like, as it lands into the water. You have a harpoon gun! Panic flashes him a smile and just winks. <laughs> Wait, me or the dwarf? The dwarf. Oh, I was like, oh, right. I was going to, like, give you the The dwarf gun. begins to scramble for a horn at his side. Ah! Ah! Uh, you still have your action, Zenrio. What are you doing? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Oh, boy. Um, here we go. And you have movement as well. Okay, um... Uh, I will hit him with a lightning bolt. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> you, will, you will have to move to hit him, because he's currently out of your view at the moment. Oh, okay. Can I move into range to hit him? Or you've yeah, got, you can. Like, you've got a pretty good swim speed, I think. Yeah, I uh, swim 30. So I'd say you could probably get here and do it. Mm -hmm. Wait, can I, instead of, instead of hitting him, can I just hit the horn instead? If, I'm going to say no. Okay, then fuck yeah. it, he's dead meat. All right, here we go. Okay, it's poor dwarf. Yeah. Marlin, no. Okay, uh, this is just a spell attack, I believe. Yeah. So I just click on the spell. Oh, it yeah, did that thing. On it. Oh, what the heck? Why is it doing that? How are you clicking on it? I'm clicking on it from the spell list. You need to I mean, click on it probably from your um from the attacks and your your attacks and spell casting, which is almost the dead center of your page. Oh, on the core section. Okay, I don't oh. have um, lightning bolt there. Oh, I glitched out. Okay, I'll grab that for you. That happens sometimes. Oh, sometimes. Thank you, Monty. I mean, no, okay. he, could, he could just roll eighty six, couldn't he? Yeah, he could just roll eighty six. Well, he it has to he has to save. Yeah, yeah he needs to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay, I added it in. Okay. Try clicking the bottom one this time. Oh. Yeah, he, he needs to save, because it always does damage, I believe. Yeah. Why is it doing that? That's Cause, super weird. Because it's not an attack roll, it's a spell save, I think. That's super weird. It should be... Oh, it is a spell save. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So uh, make a dexterity. save on that is 16 dexterity. Oh, yeah. no. This guy is not very dexterous. He's got the small legs. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a four. Um, so roll your damage, I guess. Okay. 68. Um, eight, that's 86. Or 86, excuse me. Wait, hold on. D6. Roll 8. D6. Let's see that ocean. Uh, oh. so <laughs> six damage. Right. You guys just see a flash of light. And, like, the dwarf is standing there. <laughs> Boom. Falls down forward, the horn clattering. Onto hey, the deck of the ship. By the way. Oh, no, okay. Um, let's see. Oh! Zemrio is sort of, like, looking at him like he didn't really mean to do that. Oh, he just roll. sort of was like, okay. Oh! Oh! Guys! Task gives him a thumbs up. Crackles oh. gives him a thumbs up. Oh, Borky's vomiting on the edge. Up. Borky's vomiting He's on already... the edge. Oh, gross he is. <laughs> He's he's caught up in the moment and he's just like, uh, okay, and he gives the, he gives the thumbs up too. Loot Before these, I... loot, loot them. Yeah, loot, loot them. them. Okay, uh, the two that are there, um, the dwarf. Let me just take a look at what here the dwarf has. The dwarf oh, has the... a harpoon. So you guys by... have that harpoon now. That is a strength based harpoon. That one. Uh, uh, then the uh, the blobfish has a spear. Hmm. Give that to Borky. And sorry, just double checking here. Oh, the the, the dwarf also has a crossbow with ten bolts. Ooh. Oh, give that the task. Yeah. Can I use? Uh, is that usable for me though? Yeah, it should be. Uh, let me double check that real. He's fast. gotta know what a t crossbow is. No, no, I know he knows what a crossbow is, but I all like my shit also. I have mastered ranged weapons that can take shots from. Gain the following benefits. So Borky gets uh, a, a it still spear. works with me then. 
So Borky it gets does, a spear yeah. and a harpoon then. Okay, sweet. I got some range. It weapons. is it is a hand crossbow. It is not a heavy crossbow, it is a hand crossbow. Oh you got a spear you got a spear and a harpoon, Borky? Apparently. Unless then we will take the spear then. Y'all take is uh is does is that horn ornate or anything to the like? It's it's like like a standard like just like something you'd see like a person who breeds cows would have. <laughs> cool. Hey, girl, I Oh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was gonna say, cool. I chuck it in the water, make sure no one can use it. Good. I was about to say, you know what Wait. we do with that? We break I'm, it. I mage hand. I mage hand and gra grab it. Okay, you you grab it. Use your heads. This is obviously to call backup. What if we call backup to a location where nothing is going on? Mm. In a tricky situation, if we need people out of the way, we use the horn. We get people's attention, and we get them to go to the opposite place that we are. With precipitation, that works, too. Mm. We could throw the sound. Oh, wait, I pocket it's... the horn. It's risky, but all right. Yeah, you pocket it. It fits nicely. You have it with your tuba as well. Um, do I get this? Uh, so I, I don't... So t uh, Panic takes the spear, then? Yeah, I'll take the spear, because you've you got a harpoon already. Uh, no, yeah, no, I don't have a harpoon. I think uh, Zenrio has the harpoon. You... Uh, should have the harpoon. Oh, you, 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 does yeah. Enrio give the harpoon? I give this gift to you. Uh, I, take I, it. I accept this guest gift. There's blood on it and on you. I'm guessing this was inside you. Uh, yeah. Here, take this. It was inside me. Mm. Thank <laughs> you very much. I have hey, the welcome. Harpoon. How many crossbow bolts do I have? Ten. Ten. All right, let's go find out what's inside this special boathouse. B Borky rubs uh, his fingers I, together. I, hobble over there yeah you um, wait where, where i like um like crispy the the dwarf i imagine yeah, like way, it's yeah 120 gold pieces between the two of those Ooh, oh. Ooh nice mm. yeah. i'll um, just give him the task here go take the money task <clears throat> uh is it just like i imagine it's like his smoking boots standing yeah. there where he was he's not he's not dead he's just completely unconscious uh he is crispy uh-huh yeah, um, and his beard is gone. I would. I, I want to make a prestidigitation note that said, "Sorry, I zapped you," and put it. <laughs> yeah, you stick it on his butt. Yeah. Just kinda, just, there boop, you go. Right well, there. if he's still okay. if he's still alive, then let's move quickly. Okay. I'm not going to prestidigitation a dick on his face. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh. You kind of like like kind of like uh like um finger painting on like a car that has dust on it. You just did the the, the smudge smoke on his face. You just kind of make a dick. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Uh, so we are, so we're looking at this, uh, warehouse now. What is inside, what is, uh, what does it look like? Uh, there's a door on the front, uh, and it's got, like, a chain around it with a lock, like, a padlock on it. Mm. Did you guys, did you guys grab any, were you guys able to grab what I couldn't off that, uh, Triton? Panic pulls out the key. Yep. All right, let's Pull do it up. Key. You, chick, chick, chick. the chains fall down to the ground, and the door <laughs> swings open. Inside, you see a uh, decent-sized warehouse. Uh, it's basically empty, with the exception of a large crate in the center. Hmm. A massive metal crate. It's huge. Like, it's, it's, you're surprised that the boat is staying aloft with how big this, this, this crate is. Uh, you can't see inside of it. All right, look around for a crowbar. Okay, roll an investigation check. As I'm assuming the rest of you guys enter too as well. Yeah. I'll yeah. I'll actually keep watch at the door. Kay. Just in case. For investigation, that's a seventeen. Okay. Uh you managed to find a like a not a crowbar, but like a piece of wood that you might be able to use. Hmm. Well I am not the powerhouse here, Borky, if you would do the honors. Ah, so kind. Borky grabs the piece of wood and tries to wedge it, I guess, on the edge of the box. Okay. As you place the, the, the thing there, you hear a voice above you talk. <clears throat> and you hear a familiar voice go, Oh, hello, friends. And you watch as a form sitting on top of the box shows itself. That looks like this. Oh, god damn it. The crown devil without its crown looks down and goes, Hello, lads. Looking for something you lost. That's the end of the episode. Oh, no. And he has the jump on you, so he gets a surprise round. Gnarly. 